UOGC02. Thanks, Deb Rudge. Where would I be without you, oh. eh? Where would Some I be without flash you? Flash of inspiration there. Now, can I learn how to you make this gorgeous I've owl? I've done him before on a designer inspiration show. So I can um, look that up, can I, under yeah, your name, yeah. on YouTube, if I yeah. went YouTube, subscribe to Jewelry It was Maker. one of the early ones, so it was Back probably, in the old days. yeah, March this year. <laughs> she hasn't been here that yeah. long, but she no. do, you do feel like part of the furniture already. Thank you, my dear. Now, today <laughs> in my show, I've got Maggie, and she's done some gorgeous things. Gorgeous things, sorry, so I've got some of that chain. You know you had some Labradorite chain today, the chain oh, with yes, Labradorite. Yeah. I've got some of that chain, but in different gemstones. Got loads for you to stay tuned. Now, if you are watching us on Freeview or Virgin right now, uh, do hop over and watch us online. If you've got an iPad or a Samsung Galaxy tablet, or some other tablet you can watch us on there really crystal clear that's how i watch at home in bed because everyone else yep. watching blinking football or the w.jurymaker.com <laughs> you can also send us messages in that way or well, i've been messaging uh, kim throughout your show today and she hasn't picked Can't up one of the messages how hey, rude make sure you stay there thanks to deb <laughs> thanks also to thanks, lucy who's now swapping children in the car park or child, your not children. Yeah. It's something we got going here. Uh, I'll see you <laughs> on the other side of this. Goodbye, toodles. Jewelry makers, it's wonderful to have you on board today. I am joined by the fabulous Maggie. Hello, darling. Hello, Jenny. How are you? I'm good. Have we 
Have we cooled and calm? A little bit, it yes. It was a crazy morning for Maggie. It was. It was With just traffic Manchester. and dropping and this and that <laughs> and the other. It's wonderful to have you here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's great to be back with you again. It's what have you got in store for us today, Maggie? Well, we've got Sari Ribbon, Sari Yarn. We've got some wire. We've also got some of the, the twisted wire. First time I've used it. Uh, some gemstones, of course. Um, what else have I got? That's kind of it in a nutshell. <laughs> I was twisting when you said twisting. Oh, sorry, I didn't twig. Oh, how slow off. Come on, let's twist again. again. My mum always does this when she dances. <laughs> what is it? Why do they tip their heads up and close their eyes like they're imagining the past? <laughs> they do, don't they do that? They do that, parents, <laughs> don't they? And men do that snaky thing with their feet. What yes. is that? Yes, they do. If you're past 40, you suddenly have snake feet when you're dancing. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> we've got the twisted wire. I don't think Lee has snake feet, and I don't want to see it if he does, because it'll make me be less attracted to him. Now, <laughs> I don't want to snog his face off anymore. Now, um, I don't think Harrison Ford does it. I've got loads of goodies. I have got, I love the kit, because the keys are in it. We've got some chain coming down. Woohoo! yes we have, we got loads. Now, I want, your text messages today. Can we get text messages up actually? Try, try, try. We want you to try. 60777, start your message with the word JM Studio. Do it online. I have been texting in the show um, on the online thing random messages to Lucy today, which weren't read out. So I'm thinking maybe. Maybe they were blanking me, but I don't think they were. Um, because they were pretty funny, actually. Even, even made myself laugh. Uh, now, we want you to text messages. Yesterday, the, uh, the foal of Frankel, so only 50% Frankel, was sold for over a million pounds to an Irish, an Irish racehorse trainer. We want to know what you have either sold or bought for far over the odds, but really it was worth it. We want to know, uh, we know what you're up to today. Did you like that one? Did you like that one? We want to know, what have you paid far too much for? But you had to, but you just had to. Maybe it was that pair of shoes. Maybe it was a dog, a cute kitten. In case you didn't know what a kitten was. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Did anyone see that thing last night with the baby tigers? Ooh, a man rearing a baby tiger. So cute, but eventually, inevitably, he's probably gonna get savaged by that tiger. Now. I'm only stating facts, they're animals. It was like Grizzly Man. In the end, he got eaten by a bear. We could have all predicted it, but he wasn't having any of it. I've got the most beautiful peridot today. Oh, I've got something new for you that you're gonna love, love, love. It's coming up, in Dion's words, a bit later on. I don't know why you went all like that. She normally loved that. You've got leaves. Oh my gosh, this is so autumnal, look. Do you know the crafty buzzword at the moment, Dion, my producer? Well, guess, what's the crafty buzzword at the moment? No, that's just do it to three words, Dion. I don't think you're <laughs> quite getting the uh, concept of buzzword. Kaz, what's the crafty buzzword? Buzzer. Yes, well done, Kaz, well done. Say it later. Christmas. Christmas is the crafty buzzword of the moment. Uh, Kaz, uh, Tom just said, Kaz, you have been evicted from the jewelry maker studio. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the gallery, Dion's having a tough time getting a grips with Christmas. Maggie's gone to the diary room to complain about Jenny. <laughs> oh, jewelry makers. And Scott's fallen asleep in the armchair. I wish. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, let's have a look at this. Before we go too far with this tomfoolery, have a look. You've got these amazing tulips. I mean, you've got some f fantastic things here. They're new. I'll get them out later when we actually do them because you need them. Now. Goodness gracious me. Oh, can we start with the thread zapper? Because I love this little treat. Now, the thread zapper two. Why is the thread zapper two any different to the thread zapper one? Have you seen thread zapper two? No, I haven't. I've got the thread zapper one. At least I think mm. it's the thread zapper one. 
This one is not a Gemini. Why is this different then? It's thicker, isn't it? It's thicker than the Thread Zapper one, Maggie. Is it? I don't know. You have a look. My first thought was, oh, it's thicker. Have you got yours? I've got mine. Oh, you've got yours. Maybe there's. Oh no, different. mine is a two. Yours is a two. You've got a two. This is the Thread Zapper two. The tip heats instantly. Oh, I'll show you, shall I? It's a wonderful, wonderful tool, especially if you're using lots of threads. Ha who hasn't got the multicolored thread that we've all been going bananas in actual pajamas for? It's wonderful. Let's have a look at exactly why you need a thread zapper. This is the legendary thread zapper two. Uh, the battery easy to install in the usual way. Screw uh, bottom, so you just screw that in, and when you press down on your thread zapper it will light up. Now you can do ribbon, you can do any cords, you can do pretty much anything that you want to put through there that you don't want to fray. I wonder if this will work, no I'm not so sure whether it will work in mesh because mesh is actually, it'll always give off a little puff of smoke. That's just to let you know it's working a little bit like wizardry. So in goes the thread and if you don't want the fraying, if you're knotting pearls and things like that and you want to get really close, you want to end on that knot, then you're ready in for this one. It's a lovely, toughy company. We, I love you, jewelry makers. You're so lush. T R B D eighty four. Your thread zapper, Maggie. Why have you always got yours on you? I use it if I'm using any, anything synthetic. It won't work in natural fibres, I don't think. But it'll work on polyesters, nylons, that mm. type of. Um, so the silky cord, the monofilament, the the ribbon, um, and I, so I use it for sealing ends. And you gave me a really good hint last time, really with good tip with a ribbon. It yeah. works so well it's with fantastic. organza ribbon. Mm, brilliant. It's yeah. Br yeah, it is brilliant. I love it. And it's got a nice, as long as you can get through the nib, you can mm -hmm. slide through. And it literally slides through, mm, doesn't it? Absolutely. You slide it just melts it through. It. Melts through. Thread Zapper 2 is what I've got for you here. Trims, burns or melts thread with one touch. No more th frayed thread ends. It's got an extra fine tip to allow for precision application. It's ideal for finishing bead weaving and stringing projects. It uh, requires one AA battery, which are available in most, most stores actually, aren't they? 0800 644 is the telephone number to give us a call on. You can shop online. Please make sure you send us a text. We love getting your text messages. Uh, Andrea, uh, or Andrea actually, Andrea. Andrea, sorry, what's wrong with me? Uh, Dorothy, Janet, Jane, and Sarah, Allen, Valerie, um, Andrea, another Andrea, uh, Jane, Andrea in South Yorkshire and Andrea in Norfolk, Fiona in Fife, Julia Diaz. We've got an Eric Diaz who, who works here. And of course, there's the famous Cameron Diaz, isn't there? Perhaps you might be related to either one of those fine Americans. Uh, but you are shopping in Greater London today. Sue in Somerset, Hazel in Stirlingshire. You're all grabbing your thread zapper too. And it's only 8.45. Have you ever seen a little shop of horrors? The Audrey too. 8.45, that's what it, have you ever seen that? You haven't, that's the plant, yeah. Feed me Seymour. Feed me all night long. Eight <laughs> forty-five. You've seen it. Zoe says I paid eighty pounds for a vintage monster puppet that had never been removed from its box. My then three-year-old <laughs> took it out and fed it with cake. <laughs> She's eleven now and still thinks it's hilarious. Well, I love you for that. Thank you so much. Was that Zoe? Was that Zoe? Was Zoe in Bedfordshire? Zoe, those pesky kids. What have you bought that you paid over the odds for, but it's still worth it, really? Uh, we're talking, of course, um, off the back of Frankel's foal being sold for over a million pounds. It's a risk buying a, a foal at that price, obviously, because you don't know whether it's going to... I mean, because of its bloodlines, it probably is going to be talented, but that's a major, major risk. But my goodness me, what have you bought for far over the odds? You paid fifteen pounds for a cinema ticket. Was it in the special ones where you're allowed to take a glass of wine in, though, Tom? The posh one, regular one. You need to go on a Wednesday when it's orange. Other colours are available. <laughs> Eight pounds and forty-five pence. Still lost my phone. Still haven't found. <gasps> That's what I was going to do. Appeal to anyone who thinks they might be psychic out there. So, I mean, you don't have to believe in this because a lot of people don't. But if you know where my phone is, 
Ready now, we'll do that little thing. I'm, I'm doing the psychic thing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Where's my phone? Somebody please let me know. I can't find it at my right arm's gone. I'm probably going to run out of petrol or something on the way home. I don't know. I can't know. If anyone sees a girl on the M1, just there, it's me. I've broken down. I can't ring anyone. Save me, please, later. 8.45. TRB. D84. Threads up a two. Like the Audrey, two. Cheryl and Rosalind and Margaret and Jean and Elaine. Scott, have you got something for me, my love? Uh, yes, I do. Thank you. Oh, these are these get better and better. Oh, it is cold. Oh, 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 it's magic. Can we do this one now? Let's do it now, please. Don't care how I want it now. I want the chain. I want the whole chain. Look how long it is. <laughs> Seriously, this is beautiful. I've got sapphire in gold, a moonstone in silver. It's black spinel. It's always sapphire. Don't care how I want it now. I, having taken over Lucy for 10 minutes, I think I've got her musical theatre in me today. That's happened. Right, hang on, I need a blackboard before we do this. Let's do... The moonstone. We we would never have a recording on these. They've just turned up in the building today. Luckily, Dion has now released Hannah Roxbury from the clutches of the Dion headlock. <laughs> Which is like this. Are you going to give me the chain when it comes in? No, I can't. I promised. Are you going to give me the chain? I, I can't. I promise. You're going to give me the chain. I'll give you the chain. Everything. Just let go. <laughs> and she's released. Hannah Rocks, jewelry maker does not condone headlocks. <laughs> Especially if Dion's around, because they do hurt. She's the only person in this building that I fear might be able to beat me up. <laughs> Have a look at what I've got for you. This is beautiful. You can see the shillet already. It's moonstone. You need to get on the phone lines now. I believe that the one that Lucy gave you this morning sold out. We've only got, we've got less than 100 at 93. And Lucy sold how many this morning? Almost 200. Could you confirm that? I want to know. Please make a call. Thank you, Dion. Uh, now, these are solid sterling silver, individually wrapped. You've got a whole metre of these. Now, I was telling you about these a while ago because my friend's sister, my friend Rebecca, her sister got married and she had a bandeau wedding, you know, like a sweetheart neckline. And she didn't want a necklace. Do you know what she did? She got chained like this and she put it across and she actually made it into a halter neck. But Moonstone, it's so bridal, it's so beautiful. You've got a whole metre. Do you know something? I wouldn't I wouldn't be shocked and, and I wouldn't be appalled to see a moonstone bracelet like this in solid sterling silver in any silversmiths for £40. I mm. just wouldn't. And that's only seven inches of a metre. I'm seeing a lot of multi -buys. Now, because this is so new, I promise you, cross my heart, hope to die, stick 10,000 needles in my eye, that I do not know what the price tag of this is. But I would expect to pay about £40 for this. Now... What did Lucy's go for this morning? I don't even know that, you see. Have a look. Ah, oh, Lucy, you get great. Is that what you're going to give us this for now? So the value is phenomenal, jewellery makers, I promise you. You can do matching necklace and bracelet and earrings. And for a set like that, I'd say about 60, 70 pounds. I do think this is a major, major, major profit maker. If you're selling jewelry, jewelry in your heritage homes, your castles, you know where they do the big craft events, people come and they do expect to spend more. I know that we have one in Winchcombe in Gloucestershire, uh, which is at Sudley Castle, and people sell things like jacuzzis and furniture for, um, for you know, garden furniture and things like that, which is thousands. Um, and then there's, you go inside and there's things like local jams and honeys mm -hmm. and jewellery and, 
and, and lovely, lovely things, but people do expect that they are going to spend money in these places. They go to have a day out with their family and to spend money. Now, I would take that somewhere like, I would take things like this somewhere like that. I wouldn't necessarily do a, a school summer fate with them because I think these do deserve to be a bit of a higher price tag. They're moonstone for a start, they're solid sterling silver secondly, and they're absolutely beautiful. 20 of these have been allocated, 73 remain. I haven't even given you the price tag and, and over, and, Lots of these are in baskets, Dion's just saying. A lot of these have gone already. Now, you can use your debit card. You can also use credit cards here at Jewelry Maker. We welcome both. You will always get a 30-day money-back guarantee with everything that you buy here at Jewelry Maker. You do have to go to the right venue if you're selling these on. Otherwise, I think they're bridal. I think they're absolutely wonderful gifts. Of course, June's birthstone. Also, Moonstone is associated with fertility. Anna, Patricia, Iris, Barbara, Joanne, Mary, Pat, and Jane, Aunt Andrea, another Jane, Brenda, Leslie, Wendy, Anonymous in Hampshire's got two, Anonymous in Somerset. I'm seeing lots of multi buys. These are only £17.95. Thank you for trusting us here at Jewelry Maker. I'm going to bring you the gorgeous black spinel one as well, which is going to go beautifully. I think these are stunning together have a look see what you think blacks and whites together are phenomenal i think have a look and i love the mix of silver and gold because if you've got this one i would definitely recommend you getting the other one as well you've got a meter of each aren't they gorgeous you get a meter uh, of each item and they're both separate item goes 17.95 ruth suzanne karen e norma and robert Jane, uh, Joanna in County Durham, Anna, Colleen, Iris, I've got John in Worcestershire, Anna in Aberdeenshire, Jury Maker in West Midlands, Frankie Doodles in West Midlands, uh, Helen, you've got yours, Chris, you've got yours, Jill, Fiona in Fife, Margaret, John, Anonymous in London, Wendy in Dorset, Suzanne in Aberdeenshire, Anonymous in Hampshire's got two, Anonymous in Middlesex, I've got Stella in Berkshire, two for you, Pauline in Essex, Kathleen in Essex, uh, I've got uh, Ruth in Sussex, Sandra in Invernessshire, Kellyanne in Sterlingshire. It's absolutely loads of you coming through for this one. I love having you company here today at Jewelry Maker. What day is it? It's Tuesday. Troublesome Tuesday. I hope you're causing trouble this Tuesday. OPO D68. As always, I've uh, caused a bit of trouble this morning already. I'll fill you in on that. Here's a text message. Lynn in Greater Manchester. Marriage! Yes, that is the biggest expense. Something we're talking about uh, for anybody that's just tuned in, and I know Tom's just walked in, talking off the bat. You're right, you're right about marriage. Uh, we've been talking about. You heard divorce is more expensive, have you? That's why you're staying married. Okay, thanks. <laughs> now. <laughs> Now, uh, we're talking off the back of uh, Frankel, the racehorse's uh, offspring, his foal yesterday, going for over a million to an Irish, I think it was Irish, wasn't it? Yeah, no, no, Irish uh, racehorse trainer, uh, owner. And, um, well, it's a risk, isn't it? It's always a risk. He will, we're in the back of the horse, is decent, but there's, it's a foal, there's no guarantees. <laughs> you, it's a risky business, as I know. And, um, and you know what? That it's, it's, what have you bought that you think, ooh, I'm paying over the odds for this, perhaps, perhaps not, maybe it was a risk. We want to know. So far we've had marriage and a puppet uh, that was in its box. Not puppy, puppet. Uh, Samina, hi Samina. Hi Jenny, I just had to get the moonstone as it's my birthday. It was my birthday last week. Samina, when was it your birthday? Was it your birthday? So I, I, was it Samina had the same birthday as my son on the 9th? Samina, I want to know, when was your birthday? Uh, you're looking fab in Monaco. Thank you. It was the only thing that was ironed this morning. Uh, <laughs> and I think there is a large... I was telling everybody about my ironing lady. This time she's gone even more crazy. Well, you know I said she was in love with my partner. Um, he was on air, so she texted him while he was on air. He didn't answer. He was on air for like a million hours. He came off and there was a text message from her and then because he didn't answer within an hour she was like how dare you not answer me <laughs> and loads of abuse I was like I look yeah yeah so now I've got to do my own ironing uh, which isn't really happening so well or actually at all so there is a large possibility that my phone is in the ironing pile Kellyanne says not sure why Jenny but when you said where's my phone I pictured a car and a seat belt clip do you know something I've got a feeling it's in that car 
Kellyanne, somebody else. Please let Jenny know her phone is in the car down the side of the seat. <gasps> I know, I know some of you have got my little wavelengthy things. I do this, it's here. If it's in the car, I'm telling you, I, I bet you it is. I bet you it's in the car. Thank you so much. You, I don't really want you to check my car, Tom, because if you put your hand down the side, there's all, no telling what you might find. Because I'm in the car for four hours a day, there are lots of sweet wrappers, and uh, I don't know. JM Studio, the family and I all clubbed together and bought my mum a Labradoodle. I want a Labradoodle so badly. Called Lola for her birthday. Pricey, but so achingly adorable. Pricey, but so blooming well worth it. I want a Labradoodle. I love them. They're so beautiful with their little curly heads. I want a curly head dog. Cockapoo. Oh, I love them. I want a puppy. I want a puppy too. That was so worth it. What did she say? Did she like it? Did she love it? Did she cry? Do you know what my mum did to me once? I wanted... Oh, listen, it's still available. It's still available, the chain, but there aren't that many. My mum bought me a Tibetan Terrier for my Christmas present when I was 11. And she said to me, go and get the... Um, go and get my shopping out the car for me. And I went, oh, do I have to? And she went, yeah, please. So I went in and there was a little puppy in a basket. And she was so small, she fit in the palm of my hand. She's a Tibetan Terrier and I called her Emmy. Well, actually, I called her Sugar, but my mum didn't like it, so she changed it to Emmy. Um, <laughs> and I loved her. And then, really, my mum did... My mum did pretty much what she did with my kids and took over, uh, but I didn't mind. Seventeen ninety-five. <laughs> it's not a sensitive subject. I've told them they can't eat sweets at bedtime. They've all got lollies in their mouths. No, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna challenge Maggie. Uh, we do have a few of those chains, but not loads of them. So Maggie May, I'm going to give to you. Never a dull moment. No, no. Oh, I'm going to give... To, is Maggie getting the seedy McBeadies? How are you with a seed bead, Maggie? I'm OK if I have a needle. <laughs> have you got, <laughs> or a, some have you got a needle? Yeah, you've got the Japanese needle. I've got, I've got a needle cushion. in here somewhere, yeah. So a needle pulling thread. <laughs> Maggie, I love seed beads. Yeah. I love them. Right. Is this a hint or a threat? I think... Well, no, I'm asking you a question. Can I, with a needle, put elastic through them? I don't not. think so. I don't think so. I'll have How a try. How do they make that? Do you get skinny elastic? Do you get really thin elastic? You get different. So you get a kind of flatter elastic. Yeah, it's like square, isn't it? Y yeah. I want to get that because I want to make CD bead stretchies or do like those really intricate woven things. And you can get you can get two different thicknesses of the elastic. I've seen it two different thicknesses. Yeah. But I'm not sure how thick ours is. What about that jewellery makers? Would you like me to ask Dion to put uh, Hannah Roxbury in another one of her headlocks and ask for skinnier elastic? If you would, text headlock yes. <laughs> now. <laughs> Usual number, <laughs> usual way. You don't get this unprofessionalism with Ali Defoy, do you, Tom? Oh, no, not at all. No. no. Sorry about this. <laughs> now you've got seedy beads, Maggie. I am. I love beads. I love. I'm a lunatic by heart now. Ever since Sissy bought me my own bead loom. Ooh. I think you can do some very special things with the seedy beads. I think you can do geometric beading, yeah. you can do seedy beads. I'm not necessarily saying that I can do these things because I can't do geometric beading. I wish I blooming well could. It's amazing. You can use these in soutache. They're just wonderful. They're so super, super versatile. Well, this is going to be another troublesome Tuesday deal. If you've got a son who likes troublesome trucks, you'll know all about it. Now, I can imagine Tom being one for a troublesome truck. Thomas the Tank Engine, Troublesome Trucks? Oh, no, I yeah? I Diesel 10 pulls the Troublesome Trucks. No? 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 Okay. It's, it's changed since my day. It has changed. Kimberly says, headlock yes to the skinny elastic. Put that one on the list, Kimberly. Headlock yes. <laughs> now, I am going to give to you beading thread, monofilament, all the usuals that you get in a kit, mm -hmm. Maggie. You're also going to get some stunning rose quartz drops now i would use those rose quartz drops with a couple of the colors in the multicolored agate i don't think i'd necessarily use them with the orange but you might enlighten me differently i quite like pink and orange together do you well you're Ooh. good i'm glad you're going to change things for me then i'm going to give you oh you've got the lush star head pins i love those Ooh. they're gorgeous 115 findings in total 
oh, I love these, and they've got the moustache hooks. That's what I call them. I know that's not an attractive name for them, but they look, don't they look like moustache hooks? They're wonderful because they anchor things so well. Have a little look at your star head pins. I love these. They're my fit. Star and Hearts are my favourite head pins. Look at those. How could you not love them? They're gorgeous, aren't they? So this is the Colourful Times jewellery kit. It's also going to be a troublesome Tuesday deal. YAG C25. You've got all the colours. The CDB's £19. And 95 pence is not your price tag because Dion is a troublesome truck. She's a very naughty engine. 14 pounds and 95 pence. Unbelievable. My son used to make me talk to him in the voice of Ringo Starr during eating dinner. And if I slipped out of character, he'd go, no, in the voice of the fat controller. And I'd be like, Max, open the tunnel. The fish fingers <laughs> need to get in. Huh? I sound more Lily Savage than anything, wasn't it? Yeah. Gonna work. I've uh, forgotten that because he's nine now. Last night he came into my bed with a whole village of stuffed toys. Got in, led there, and I was went mm, like that. And then he got up and went, we're thirsty. Got out, took his toys, and I never saw him back again. I said to him in the morning, what were you doing last night? He went, what do you mean? Didn't do anything. I stayed in my bed. I went, well, some blo small blonde boy got in my bed with 6,000 teddies, told me we're thirsty, and went back upstairs again. <laughs> Very strange. £14.95. Unbelievable. Mia said she found him this morning in his bedroom, surrounded by a million stuffed animals. So he must have collected them in his sleep. YAGC25, what are you going to make with this one? It's CDBs. You've got CDBs. Maggie, any early thoughts from you, my darling? Mm, I'm going to try and see how I can get on doing little circles of CDBs around the top of the, uh, the quartz drops. In mono filament or in uh, beading thread? Uh, I, I'll need to see if the beading thread like goes through. Like little donutty ones. Yeah, like yeah the beading thread goes, goes through these. Oh, fantastic. Well, that's what I'll use because I do prefer that to monofilament. Also, the 0.25 wire goes through these two. Right. Although you can't um, seal that off as easy, can you? Mm. 14 pounds, 95 pounds, YAG, C25. We've got loads of text. Thanks so much for your interaction. Chris says, headlock, yes but not fussed about the elastic. <laughs> Chris, we don't promote unnecessary violence here, darling, if there's going to be. Uh, no, um, the, the, uh, today do you just want to see Dion getting Hannah in a headlock? Hi all at JM, I paid 500 pounds for a miniature Labradoodle who insists on sitting on my knee whenever I try to make jewelry, but I love him to bits from Sue. Sue, I think that was a good investment, 500 pounds. A miniature Labradoodle, oh, from a miniature Poodle, which means, which means the miniature Poodle must have been the dad, Ooh. otherwise things would have got complicated, wouldn't they? They would have done, The they? other way around would have been awful, for all concerned. £14.95. pence. I like that everybody's got Labradoodles. I think there should be more Labradoodles in the world. What is your, my, uh, one of my best friends has got a Shih Tzu crossed with a pug. I won't tell Aww. you what she says it's called. <laughs> it's the first part of the dog I mentioned first with pug afterwards. 14 pounds and 95 pence for this kit, but it is gorgeous. And do you know what it's got? Like a lion's mane, but with a pug's face. Oh. That, it looks like a lion pug. <laughs> it's just there with a big mane. A Shih Tzu mane and a pug face. Brilliant. Oh, it sounds gorgeous. It's called Norman. <laughs> That's my friend Sam, who also had a dog called Stanley. She calls them just normal names. Now, I'm going to give to you... What did I do with that Sagnetic and Lemon Quartz? I got it. I got it. I got it. This is yummy together. Oh, it's a summer's day. A gorgeous summer's day. Look at that. Look at this together. Very, very pretty. I might take my black board away, actually. <gasps> oh, I love those together. Ooh. That's very bridesmaidy, isn't it? Do you know what? That's going to look very pretty with your moonstone chain that you just bought. How pretty does that all look together? That's really delicate. Very, very feminine. Very feminine indeed. 
It's got that real sort of old school beauty about it, that Doris Day, Marilyn Monroe beauty about it. I love the purity of a Doris Day film, do you? Yeah, there's something sort of quite sort of old fashioned -y about it. I love that. Yeah. And the and then everything, the dresses she used to wear was oh, bright yeah. and sunny and yellow or pink and wholesome. Wholesome, that's a good wholesome. word. Wholesome. That describes it nicely, yeah. I love that. I'd like to be wholesome one day. <laughs> this sagnetic quartz and the, and the lemon quartz, I think is just a beautiful combination. I think it's romantic. I think that actually that era was ever so romantic. I know it's old fashioned women belong behind the kitchen sink sort of stuff, but it was romantic. Skipping around <laughs> lampposts and sneaking a kiss. What are you saying? Absolutely nothing. I, I can say oh, were you about to make a comment that women do belong behind no, the kitchen sinks? Not. Is that what you were doing? Oh, Mr. Fall asleep at my desk? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were doing? Oh yeah. Perhaps you should practice the men belong at work thing before you start that. <laughs> <laughs> we have all come to love this boy and you're going to leave us one day and we're going to get rid... I'm going to miss Scott. Because at first I thought, oh my gosh, he's crazy. And then I thought, I can't live without him. He entertains me on a daily basis. Now, now have a look. I think everybody should have at least one, no, just one actually, not at least one, one Scott in their life. I'm pretty sure not all Scots like me though. No, Scots like you, Scott. Yeah. Now, yeah. I mean one you, all right? We should clone you so that people understand. Anyway, let's continue. Beautiful romance. Absolutely pretty as a picture. Pardon, Dion? Troublesome Tuesday and Dion go together like peas and carrots because look at this. Uh, D and Z G C thirty one. Dion, are you allowed to work on Tuesdays? No, and this is why six ninety five. It definitely is troublesome truck Tuesday. Jane, you've got yours. Carol and Rosalind and Jacqueline, jewelry maker in Somerset, in Vaughan in West Midlands, and in Aberdeenshire. I've got Angerad in uh, North Yorkshire. I've got Anne. I've got Sharon and Ellen and Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Janet, you've got yours. Karen in Kildare. Uh, Nancy in Tyne and Ware. I've got loads of you. It's lovely to see you. This is a phenomenal deal. Two wonderful, genuine gemstones. Quartz duo, you've got the Signetic Quartz, which is very similar to Rutile Quartz, it's like a strawberry fizz, and we've got the Lemon Quartz, these are super summery, they're super delicate, they're very, 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 very pretty. I, I bought a yellow dress on my way to, to work this morning, I nearly said on my way to school, uh, that's what somebody did yesterday, wasn't it? I bought a yellow dress on my way to work this morning, and I decided there wasn't enough yellow in my life, and, and it was in the sale. And I was in a supermarket, so it wasn't like glamorous or anything. But this, you know, it's just like, you know, yellow makes you happy, doesn't it? It's 6.95. Half of the stock's gone, of course it has. You've got to get yourself on the phone line for this one. It's definitely a basket opener. If you've already got a basket open, shove two in. It's worth it. You only pay one PMP all day and you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. Deals like this aren't going to last forever. We are still seeing little bits of stock that we're trying to clear out. This is perhaps. A lot of multi buyers that I'm seeing now. Uh, this is perhaps one of those deals. Uh, Rosie, you've got two. Pauline, you've got two. Lynn in Cheshire, you've got two. Janet in Yorkshire, two for you. Lots of you multi buying. Ruth in Hampshire, hello to you. Hi, Nicholas. Haven't seen you on the uh, on the screens for a while. I hope you're well. I've got lots of you. It's like I know you all, isn't it? Uh, Wendy and Sue. Jemima, I love that name. My daughter's got a friend called Jemima. Judith in Cumbria, you've got yours. Pauline in Essex has two. That was Martha slamming the door, everyone. In a minute, she'll stamp her foot as well. 695 <laughs> DZG C31. Definitely a Doris Day combination. These are absolutely flying out the door. Has our executive producer come in to tell off Troublesome Tuesday Dion for this deal? 695 Yes, she has. Eleanor in L'Exemple, which is near Barcelona, I'm told. Uh, you, you're, you're there. Hello to you. Or Ola, should I say. Uh, Jacqueline in Buckinghamshire, you've got yours. Hello, Deirdre in Oxfordshire. Anne in Aberdeenshire. Ethne, you've got yours. Wendy, you've got yours. Congratulations to everybody shopping with us today. Right now, it's time to inspire you with a designer. And that designer is my gorgeous Maggie. Maggie. Now, are, they, are these two separate kits or one whole kit? That's one whole kit. One whole kit? Isn't it amazing? With the, just... Oh my gosh, I love the keys. And I, I tell you my favourite thing, I love Sari Silk, 
But I'm really, um, I'm really, actually, no, I love all the gemstones as well. I love it all. Oh, what am I talking about? You're going to love this. It's lush. This is, I'm going to put something out there now. And this is something I'm putting out. This is one of the nicest kits we've had. I want to show you. Look at the, I know you've, you might have seen these before, but you might, every time I see them, I love them. I fall in love with them even more. You get the key charms. You've got a lot of key charms with this, haven't you, Dion? How many do I get? Let me have a look. Doopy doo, my lord. Doopy doo. Mm -hmm. 25. Do I get two lots of that? Or has someone just written it twice? Someone's written it twice. That's always handy. Uh, so you get 25 of these, and they are rose gold on sterling silver. Yes, they happen to be that. 0 0.8 wire, which is actually one point what's two times eight is it 16 yeah which is actually 1.6 wire because it's a lot two lots of 0 0.8 together in the copper this is big this is a big deal you've got the keys you've got the twisted wire i'm not even done there because you also get 0 0.6 wire 10 meters of that i like this kit i like this kit a lot so you get regular wire in 0 0.6 Twisted 0.8, essentially 1.6 is two lots of twisted 0.8. You've got the keys. I'm not done there, my darling jewellery makers. I'm probably only halfway through. Coral in the most glorious colour. Look at this. Sort of like a, I don't want to say bright orange, it's got almost a, has it got a peachy tone or is it a bright orange? You, when you bite into a nectarine, it's the colour inside of that. Does that make sense? I love a nectarine. It's not, it looks tangerine. It looks tangerine. You think it's grapefruit. I'll go with that, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it is a bit of a fruit explosion of a strand. Oh, that makes me want a grapefruit breakfast. They're ever so good for you and they help you slim down, apparently. Now, look at this pyrite. Higgledy piggledy pyrite. Now, Mark Smith's going to go bananas for this. Those together. Ooh la la. Then, and I'm not even done there, you're going to get sari silk in the most amazing colours. Look at this. You've got the twisted cordy threads. Do I need to undo them? Probably not actually, do I? Might be a little bit too like committed. No, I've just half undone them. Look, you've got loads in here. It's actually done by weight. Is it 95 grams that you get? Yes, it is, I was right. 95 grams and this is the twisted this is the twisted pomegranate sari silk no this is hot pink this is pomegranate and then you've got the aubergines as well 95 grams of each and that yarn goes a long way is it a yarn no. I would call it a yarn, the twisted one, the one you've got in your left hand. Yeah, and what's Another this? one I tend to call a ribbon so that I can differentiate between them. Aha. Uh because -huh. uh -huh. otherwise I get mixed up with which is which. They're amazing. You can knit with these and everything, you can. can't you? Knit with now, the you've ironed them. I, as we know, I'm against all kinds of ironing unless you're being paid for it or forced by knife or gunpoint. But in a crafty way, I accept it. Thank you. I'm so glad that's you're fine. doing That's but fine. I've only ironed the one this time. I've not ironed both of them, I've only ironed one of them. Okay. I'm not opposed to it. Okay. Now you get three, <laughs> three of the sorry silks. You get the 0 0.6 wire, and that is the regular wire in copper. Then you get 0 0.8 in twisted. You've got the keys. Can you believe all of this? Is this going to be expensive, Dion? The coral and the pyrite get in my life. Actually, on our website, I think it's great value at only forty-five pounds and ten pence. That's phenomenal. You're getting genuine gems here. Ethically sourced coral, really important. We only ever give you. We gather the washed-up coral. We never actually go out and hunt for it. That's important, isn't it? I want to know we're kind. Fiery temptress is what this kit is called. I like the way we've put Maggie Jones, fiery temptress. <laughs> Have you seen that? It's a lie, it's a lie. <laughs> That's your web description right now, Maggie Jones. Oh, is it? So, is that look, my, look, my, my Maggie new... Jones, <laughs> fiery temptress. All sorts of bother could happen off the back of that. You oh, realise this? Oh, it could, couldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I hope my dad's not watching. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> if he was, Dad, 
That's it's a not, mistake. They didn't felt. mean it. They That's not a web it. name. The Fiery Temptress. <laughs> <laughs> 0806 446 55 L O G C 19 24 95 is not your price tag because it's Dion. It's Troublesome Tuesday. At £21.95, pence, you get. I've got Zena waving at us. Where everybody wave at Zena. She loves that price. She's swimming. <laughs> She's swimming. She is. She's on our other channel. She's on, it's not Jeff, it's the lounge, isn't it? She's on the lounge. She's lovely. We got some more text messages. I have got uh, Angrid says, "Ha ha! My first." Oh, there we go. Uh, sorry, I couldn't see that, so he's just moving it. Ha ha! My first name call out. Try saying Angrad as Anne Harrod. Forget the G. Love your madness. Anne Harrod. Anne Harrod. I've never heard of that name before. It's lovely. You've heard it, Tom. Only once. Is it the same Anne Harrod? Is it an Irish name? Because we do tend to do different spellings of things like Siobhan and Neve, mm. don't we, and Ashlyn. 21.95, let's, let's give Anne Harrod lots of name shout outs then. Anne Harrod, Anne Harrod, Anne Harrod, Anne Harrod. I'll never forget that now. 21 pounds and 95 pence, keep those text messages coming. Let's go and look and be inspired by the gorgeous Maggie, the fiery temptress. <laughs> That's how I'm going to refer to you from now on in. Maggie, the fire... Oh, Maggie, which Maggie? Oh, the fiery temptress. Yes, I know who you're talking about. Fine. You won't do it too often. I'll ask somebody to get you in a headlock. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is about me and Dion is my arms are probably stronger than Dion's. It's probably right. the only thing. She's just said she'll get me in a thigh lock. <laughs> that does scare the bejee... The bejee girls out of me. Cause ain't nobody getting out of them thighs now <laughs> she is like the warrior princess um oh no my partner's birthday we're having a shopping channel versus shopping channel it's a knockout right. dion's on our team and uh, so we're basically gonna win you'll be, you'll be, you'll be sorted they're gonna look, take one look at us and they'll be like actually <laughs> have we seen the opposition yeah oh you haven't seen yeah yeah we're all right dion so when's this happening then? On the 2nd of August. Oh, if nobody comes to work on the 3rd of August, that's it's because why. we're all injured. There is um, a lot like Anchorman, there will be a no hitting in the face policy. Have so does look. that mean that hitting elsewhere is allowed? Yeah, because it's just the faces you see on TV. We've got oh. battered legs. Oh, yeah, battered legs won't matter quite. Well, <laughs> who knows what goes on under these desks, Maggie? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I love your designs. I love the coral. I love those flowers. They're gorgeous. This, this coral's really sweet, isn't it? I love it's it. I love really all nice. coral. I don't know what it is about coral, but every time I see it, I go, oh, it's coral. I really like it. I like the patterns in it. I like that it's lightweight, and I love the colours it takes on. I like the luster, too. I think it's got a nice luster to it. Yes, it has. Yeah. You're, yeah, you're right, and it's, mm. it takes the colour so beautifully. Uh, the drill holes are nice and substantial. They're very pretty drops indeed, aren't they? And they make a nice they're shape, really. don't they, when mm. they're drilled? Yeah, so... So where shall I start with this? Um... Well, you tell me, my darling. Where did you start? Well, I started with some memory wire, so I shall start there. OK, let's start with some memory wire. So you right. added memory wire. So I started off memory wire because I knew that I wanted something that's going to be fairly close to the neck and then drop down. Uh -huh. uh, so that's why I thought memory wire holds the shape well and it'll hold the weight as well. If I just used ordinary beading thread or if I used ordinary wire, then that, it wouldn't recover afterwards. So that's why I used memory wire. So I took my two colours of the sari, what I'm going to call the sari ribbon, yep, the, which is the, the strip's about an inch or so wide, and I got the memory wire. I cut a coil and a half of the memory wire, yep, okay. uh, and then I cut some off at the end. But it's always better to have too much rather than too little. Always, always. Now, if you would like memory wire, please go and check out stock availability on our website. It's jewelrymaker.com. Just to put in the little searchy bit, memory wire, or just memory. That'd be good. Could I buy some memory? You want to buy some memory? Yeah, that'd be good. I, might remember I can't things. remember if we've got any left. <laughs> <laughs> like what I did there. Do you like what I did there, Chloe? Don't pull that face at me. <laughs> I wish I had a tumbleweed right now. You wish you had a tumbleweed. All right, I'm not, I won't um, say anything mean to you because you're pregnant. I, and it's against my policies. <laughs> That's Chloe Jones, everybody. I don't know what she does, but she does work here. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> she's supposed to be doing something technical, but at the moment she's over there putting Wall of Fame things up, probably pretending to be working, but actually not. Are you high on fire <gasps> presenters? Was that the emphasis on the fire bit? <laughs> <laughs> Chloe Jones, everyone. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's get on with it. <laughs> right, okay. So when Hang I on, you put yours in a little... I make mine into a little ball, oh. yeah, because otherwise it'll go all in a tangle. So you untangle it. So I untie the strings that go around it. Mm -hmm. I put it over the back of a chair. Oh, like and go just like that. Then just go like that. Wind it into a ball while working your way around it. Oh, I like that. It's very relaxing. Yes, that's very a good calm. idea. Yeah. So that's what I do. This was a smaller ball. There's not mm -hmm. so much left of it now. So this is dead easy, this bit. It's actually quite calm and quite relaxing too. So working just off the yarn, what I'm doing is I'm... Um, Poking the end of the, that's a technical term, poking the end of the wire. Yeah, just poking Cause it it's through. Because it's quite firm and just poking it through. And it's, it's silk, so it'll give, give in quite and easy. And it gives, it's woven so it's, it's easy. So on either side doing that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then moving to the other side, I use my fingers as a kind of guide so the loops will be approximately the same each time. Mm -hmm. So same again, push it through. Make sure you don't push yourself, make sure you don't have to Get it on your fingernail. I managed that the other day. It was a bit, it was a bit ouchy. Ooh, try not to swear when so that happens. Try That's like stubbing your toe, Maggie, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So try not to do that. I had to climb over the stable door the other day, and I got a splinter in my because I got locked inside the stable How with the horse. <laughs> Because I shut it and I thought I'd just shut the thing and the bottom thing well, went... Well, the bottom bar go over well, as well. Well, that's it then. You're in. You're stuck completely. Uh, yeah. And I had to hold on because the horse is a bit evil. It tried to kept trying to bump me over. Well, that's what they do. Yeah. Horrible thing. She's horrible, that horse. Don't worry, you'll, you'll get your revenge on her at some point. No, there is no revenge. She's stronger, bigger. Yeah, but once she's got a bit in her mouth... No, she's still... Like, no, she's not. She's lovely when you're... But if you're on her back, she's lovely. Right. And I don't mind that. I mean, I don't really enjoy being kicked every time I take a rug off in the don't. morning. And sometimes I think, what happens if I don't make it to work? It's because she's kicked me. Every time I take a rug off, she kicks me. Really? Or goes to kick me. I know she's going to do it. She's probably just relieved that she's not so... No, she... Mm. Cow kicks. Oh, nice. She's like, yeah, she's being horrible. She wants to hurt me. I like her for it. Do you? Yeah, I understand. Oh, this right. is my daughter's horse. Yeah. I understand. She's cantankerous. She's a woman. She's got a lot to deal with. <laughs> she's, she's feisty. She's a moody mare. She is. I get it. I understand. You know, she's got to deal with the men next to her. Oh, has she? Yeah. I'd kick out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get so, on with this. So all I'm doing is I love the ruffles. It on, and you get those little ruffles. Then when you push them all up and push them all together, they give you a different type of a <gasps> ruffle. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Did you, hang on, have you ironed this? You haven't ironed no, this? No, I've not one? ironed this. I've, not, I've resisted. Okay. okay, good girl. It was difficult. It was really difficult. Was it? Are you one of those women I that wants to iron everything? You no, I don't iron socks? anything. I don't oh, good. Iron. Yeah, I don't iron anything unless I, I have really to. I really envy women who iron their underwear. I think they're mad. I don't know. I wish I was like that. I Do wish I could why? open my drawer and have ironed underwear. Why? Don't know. No, I don't iron. I, I did once when I was at college. One of the girls in the Hall of Residence used to iron her tights. Really? Didn't they melt? Well, it depends how hot the iron is. <laughs> <laughs> so, so no, I didn't iron this. I just st straight off the, in my case, straight off the ball. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip that there. I'm going to turn it round to show you the next stage, which is the stage in the middle here. I really need this compacted. And so the best way of compacting it is to have it snip off the wire. So I need to find a big chunky pair of, here we go. Chunky monkeys. Remember, don't use your ordinary pliers. I don't have any of the... Is it parrot nose ones you call them for cutting wire? Snipe nose. No, oh, for cutting. For cutting memory wire. You, you get special pliers oh. for it. Yeah, all the tin snips you can use That's tin what snips. I've more or less used. Yeah, to. yeah. yeah. Mm. Or use an old pair of pliers for cutting memory yeah, wire. Yeah, don't, don't use your good ones. Do not they will never use recover. your lovely flush cutters. Oh, and don't. That don't. would be shameful. It would be. Well, it would be completely wrong. Mm. So all I'm doing is curling the wire back using round those pliers towards the end and just being really firm with it and then I'm going to cut those off okay so remember it's going to be bigger than this this is just a, a little sample to show what I'm doing so my next stage was to take the a piece of the pink now and that I've looks ironed, like you've it. ironed it I've ironed no this, steam yeah. low uh, heat I did steam. actually use steam on that believe it or not it's a little bit kind of it's not it's not perfectly fantastic but it'll do the it's job flattened for this. It. you just flattened it you didn't yeah. go overboard 
Absolutely. So what I then did was wrap it round. So it's a bit like bandaging somebody's finger or putting back. stable bandages on or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So bandaged it round a little bit, just a couple of times round, and to make sure nothing was coming through. The next stage was to take some of the copper wire. Did I cut myself a length? Here we go. Was to take some copper wire. I'll leave a tail and I can put that in afterwards. And I can probably cut this as well. And then when putting the copper wire oh. on, that then compacts it down a little bit. That's nice. And looks pretty, the copper wire again. Copper wire it, looks great it? with the pink, doesn't it? And you're just going backwards and forwards with that. You so made a little sari sausage. A little sari sausage, you might say. So my next stage after that was to put some of the, the pyrite onto a piece of uh, beading thread. I used beading thread because it, I think it was a gem of distinction. This Do one? you know what? It's not, but it looks like it should be. Isn't it beautiful? Is it a gem of distinction strand? Is. You thought it was. Didn't say it on my description. The pyrite. There you go. It is. You're right. It's, it's a gem, gem of, of distinc distinction. So because it's a gem. We're of not supposed to put. We're not supposed to put gems of distinction in kits. Are you not? Shall I hide it? No. Let's tell everyone. You've got gem, <laughs> gem of distinction in this kit, and it's twenty one ninety five with D Dion. She didn't know that. She Did she not? I, I know. I didn't know. Skim Ooh. over it. Skim over it before management see. Okay. Well, that's very beautiful gemstone. I'll say instead then. Do not mention the words gems of distinction. So again, leave a tail and. I threaded a kind of random number on, and at this point you need to decide which is the front and which is the back, mm -hmm. uh, because there's no point in hiding those gems around the back. So put them no, in the front. No, it would be wasteful. It's absolutely wasteful. So all I'm doing is wrapping it round, bringing some gemstones up, wrapping it round, and distributing them fairly randomly on the front and back again. Yep. There we go. So that's that. I'm just going to tuck them in there for the moment. Now, because they slide around, as you can probably see, they're moving about a little bit. So at that point, I thought, hey, I'll put some more of this lovely copper wire on. So I'm going to take another length of copper wire. And I put this over the top. So again, leave a tail. And work it round so that you're capturing the that you're going on top of the beading thread with the copper wire and you're making sure that the gemstones oh, so are less mobile. Are you hiding mobile. the beading thread with it? I'm not hiding it particularly. I'm just trying to work it in such a way... Oh, that it makes the gemstones that behave? That it makes the gem... That's a great way of putting it, yeah, that the gemstones then behave. Got to have a bit of order. Yeah. So that would then be the front. And as you can see, there's a lot of gemstones in the front and if you flip it over to the back, there's very few. Yeah, so you don't really want them on there. So that's that. You then need to tuck the wire in carefully because you don't want to scratch your neck. So the ends of the copper wire, just tuck it under and I... I can tuck it under into the sari silk. So spend a little bit of time doing that, squash it down. There we go. So that's how that bit works. Lovely. And then what I did also, I used a crimp bead on at the ends of the beading thread. I don't... Where's my other end? It's there somewhere. So I used a crimp bead just to hold of the two of those together and again tuck them underneath. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's a sort of little fat sausage, a mini version of this one. So what we've done here, and then obviously you'd have continued all the way along here. You've mm. added this onto the memory wire, added an S clasp on the end. Mm. So this is all memory wire. S clasp on the end. Now, what about these pom poms? They got me excited earlier. Did they? You had. Well, and then we started going pom pom makers. Anna <laughs> Oxbury, Dion got her in a headlock. We have now got pom pom makers on order. Fantastic. Which I'm very excited about. Because I used to make pom poms with my sister when I was little, and we used to cut cardboard out in mm -hmm. a ring. Yeah. Do you remember that? I, this I've never done it with my kids, and I might do it tonight actually, because I might steal some of that yarn. And you used to go round and 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 round. Mm -hmm. Then you'd put one thread 
through as your thingy, wouldn't you, and then cut it around the edge? Well, I've done that for this one here. So this is two discs of plastic, yeah? They're very, Just very plastic. simple. Now that this you've got us at an actual pom-pom maker, this, though. I've got a pom-pom maker as well. Oh, yeah. this isn't a pom-pom maker? This is a cheaper pom-pom maker. It's just circles. So oh, okay. I couldn't find any card to actually cut out. So I just used circles to show you instead. OK. Yep. Uh, now, the great thing about this yarn, this is, this this yarn comes to you. Can right? you show me how to make a pom-pom? Oh, yeah, OK. Is that going to be annoying for you? No, but no, I, really I can show you how to, to make it. Can you use one of these, do you think, one day? You need to be able to separate the two. Yeah, because you'd go through there, wouldn't you? But then you can't separate them. What you do you mean separate? Oh, is it, it comes in two, 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 two discs. Yeah. Did I used to put two together? Did them. I? Yeah. Why did I do that? Oh, so that I could so tie when them cut up it, in the middle. You the middle. I didn't go around the end. Isn't it funny? You forget, don't, don't you? you? I used to do that all the time. And make um, rose petal perfume in a jar. Oh and then yes. Make and my mum wear it. Exactly. Of course. Mum's had to wear it, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. Smell. But let me a see. A little bit nice, but not really that nice. This bit of scissors. My poor mum. And I used to make, I used to be like, Mummy, let me do your makeup for you. Did you? All the time. She'd be like, OK. Because she never used to say no. And um, I'd do rainbow eyeshadow on her and stuff. <laughs> it's always during Wimbledon, because she'd say, you can do my makeup if you let me watch Wimbledon. Ah, so this was to get you to and watch And every time you someone to came watch. to the door, my mum would look like George, Boy George. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to the door. Oh, I wish I was a I, I once, for the school play, I once thought I'd make up my friends, and she was very, very blonde, gingery colour, and she had very pale eyebrows, but no, that wasn't good enough. I had to put black eyebrow pencil on her, and she didn't have time to take it <laughs> off before the production. <laughs> I expect you stained her with it as well. So you're just so using your scissors to I'm just using scissors to cut. I've already fed them all through. That's what the big fat needle was for as do well. Do you add the thread to tie them together at the end? You I do, can't yeah, you towards the end. Has anybody else forgotten pom-poms? Don't you love it when a, a piece of your childhood comes back and you go, I remember these. It's like jump jumpers. Do you remember them in the jumpers? playground? Jumpers, no, Jump tell jumpers. Me what. It was like a football with a ring around the edge and you used to balance your feet on either side and boing around the playground on your jump jumper. Oh. And then you'd fall forward and smack your chin on the floor and they wouldn't let you take it anymore. Jump jumpers, everyone. They were great. I wonder if you can still get those 80s toys. So I've cut it now and it's kind of started to form a pom-pom already. <laughs> now have you got Eslon thread to go through? I've just got a bit of cotton thread out of my sewing box. Oh, just any old thread I just, and you're going to put it through the two Eslon discs? Eslon will do the same, yeah. You can make pom-pom um, makers really easily just with cardboard. Just cardboard. That's all I used yeah. to do when I was young. This is about 25 millimetres, mm. and I'll show you the diameter inside. And then you go, it's like, like a yo-yo, you're winding it, yeah? Yeah, like a yo-yo. So I'm now winding the thread in between the two discs. I can confirm that we do have, in fact, pom-pom makers on order. Do you? We do. Oh, fantastic. Did you hear Hannah Roxbury upstairs? She said something about she them, said, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm getting them. I'm on to it, Jenny. Good. Don't set deal on me. So what I've done is tied this How thread. How do you get those out then? Just push it you just, Oh yeah, you, that, then you now have to persuade them out. Yeah, so I'm going to tie it another time. Because at that point I would just cut my cardboard. You could I cut your cardboard. I love pom-poms. So, what I'm going to do is pull them out, persuade them that they want to come out. Oh, these are special because they're rubbery. Those are, those are mm. kind of plastic ones. Are these specific pom-pom makers? Yeah, something? I got them from a knitting shop, a yarn shop. Oh, oh they're, they're, they're not expensive, I don't suppose. They were they? well under two pounds, yeah. But the ones that Hannah's getting are going to be much better. Oh, good. Now, this is great. This is, this is like alchemy. So you start, that's what I was starting to say. You start off with quite a highly twisted yarn. You can see the I twist in it. And then when you pull it out and cut the ends, it goes like a carpet. I love that. Do you know when you buy, when you give money to charity and you always get like a furry animal to stick oh, on like you with a ribbon? Oh, like that, aren't they? Yeah. You could <laughs> make those and donate it to charity. You could. I love that. So it all comes out of itself. All becomes, if I cut that one there, it all kind of unravels a bit. Oh. And, if and you go like so that. it's so nice if you're knitting bobble hats or tea cosies. Oh, they'd, they'd be great. I need a tea cosy. So I'm just trimming off to make them all a little bit the same. How but it's just, and up when I went to see about buying a pom pom maker from my local craft shop, one of the sort of fiddly oh, ones. Bobby Shaft? No, no, a little independent oh, one. Oh, okay. Yep. And she was saying that she didn't have any of the large ones left because people are buying those pom pom makers and making pom pom rugs. 
Now, I don't know how this is done. I've not seen it. Pom but pom. I'm imagining pom -pom a rug made out of pom pom sewn together. That's what I think it and is. And I really want to lie on that rug. Exactly. It would just be fabulous. Those are some that I did earlier. Pom a pom pom blanket. It would, just Max be got a, a Man United snuggie for his birthday, and I've had a go in it. Do you know what a snuggie is? No, tell me. Tell it's me. brilliant. It's a blanket. This is great if you like to drink wine or tea with blankets on. It's a blanket with sleeves. Ah, oh, yeah. A snuggie, everybody. Yes. And he sits there in his snuggie with his arms out. Lovely. <laughs> uh, Sheena from Renfrewshire says, I now have the Matt McGinn song about the red yo-yo going through my head. Maggie might know it. What song? I don't know it. Does anyone know that song? Can the yo-yo song. Can Sheena phone up and sing it to us? Can you phone? I wish we could have phone-ins. <laughs> it would be wonderful, wouldn't it? I'd love to hear your voices. I'll keep those text Ouch. messages coming. Ouch. So that's that's the yoy. That's I pom -pom. do. Love, I do love a pom pom. Now you've put those all together. So now you've I, used the twisted wire with those gorgeous corals. You made beady beads, have I you? I made beady, beady beads. I've never beads. made beady beads before. You've never made a beady bead? From, no, from drops. I've made the oh. loads from circles. And they, they're more like clusters, aren't they, when you are like when you do it with a drop? They look lovely. They're just, mm. they're just quite, diff quite different. And of course, the way that they're strung, you get loads of them in the strand. It, there's, I mean, there's 48 in there, 12 for each beaded bead, and there's still loads left. Oh, so did you really? Yes, I so suppose. Strand there. You know, if you look how many are in the strand there. Just piggledy piggledy um, yeah because you get really they? good value mm. there aren't you getting loads mm. and loads of them yeah so so it's a beady bead i've strung this one up earlier i did those in monofilament because beading wire didn't go, uh, beading thread didn't go through it um three times and you need it to go through three times huh. how have you done it just by eye with monofilament there's one there look. That's, that that's one that's for? my tr sample one that didn't work where's my other one where have i put it oh beady bead beady bead Nope. I had it a minute nope. ago. No, no, no. No. Anyhow. So anyway, it's a beady bead on monofilament. And it oh, this happens. See, this up. is what happened to the phone. It just literally disappeared. Maybe it's under my car seat with the... It could be, couldn't it? In fact, it's probably attached itself to your phone. It's a neat little phone I'm gonna, angle. Um, I have looked under my car seat already, but I am going to do it again. I'm getting the yo-yo song in my ear. Right there. Red yo yo. <laughs> it's a very Scottish song. I can't. I, I don't recognise it. I'll need to check I it out know. later. I like so, it though. Do you like it? I mean, music in your ear. It sounds quite, quite fun. Quite. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm really sorry. I don't know what I've done. I threaded it up. Here we go. Found it, folks. Found it. Where was that? It was in there. But of course, you can't see the monofilament. So I have it here. So it's it made ex exactly the same as a beady bead is made, but it's a beady spiky bead, you might say. So Spiky it's, bead. it's just done the same way, and when you pull them all together, you get it in this nice kind of clustery shape. Yep. And are you just going to knot a I'm regular just going knot? To knot? Because again, the good thing is that you can't see it. You know, because, because it's monofilament, you can't see the beading yeah. thread. Uh, normally, I would feed it back through the beads, but I'm not don't necessarily have the shape to do that. And you can either obviously use scissors or you can use, if you've got the thread zapper, you can use the thread zapper to zap it. Oh, if you've got that thread zapper just now, the thread zapper too. Good. Then for, I used the wire because I wanted to make a little bit of a feature of the wire here. Mm -hmm. So I used the wire. Uh, originally, I cut the wire up, made the twists on the end and then inserted it through the wire on here. So what I've done is I've inserted it like, like on here through a couple of those wires. Yeah. Okay. And then I discovered it's actually better to do that bit first and then sort the end out. Now, you know when you do beady beads, you always get four that sort of little square and there's yeah. a hole next to them. Finding that in this was a lot more difficult. So they're a wee bit more random where they go through. Because you always have to make the number four, don't you? Yeah. You know what you I mean, in the row. Yeah, you can't necessarily see that because of the shape of the bead, you can't yeah. necessarily see it. So get accustomed to a beady bead with a round bead first, oh, would absolutely. you recommend? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Or a bicone. I think bicones work really nicely because mm -hmm. they nestle in together. So yeah, don't try something like this first of all because you will Bicones are good, aren't they? Bicones and beading good. thread's a lot easier than monofilament yeah. as well. Yeah, have a play with it because you can always just un undo it and stuff. Just exactly. Get, start exactly. The, the process is the pu puzzle. <coughs> so you're using your, excuse me. 
So, round nose pliers now. So round nose pliers <coughs> at the bottom, just to tighten up, just to loosen, sorry, <laughs> just. <laughs> Sorry, I had a bit of a coughing fit there. I didn't realise that Scott was right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you don't get that in Castle of Merley, do you? <laughs> Some peasant coughed on me today, Mummy. <laughs> That's what he's going to say when he goes home. <laughs> Filthy beasts. <laughs> so at the top, I'm just going to make an ordinary little loop. It's, it's a bit more tricky because you're doing it with two wires together and they do spread out a little bit, but it can be done. Ah, do you know a tip for that? No, but I... Would you like one? I'd love and one. And this comes... Please don't think that I've got this from the depths of my own silly brain, because we all know I haven't. Michelle says... Yes? When grabbing a twisted wire... Yeah? In order to manipulate it... I said wire, because I wanted to sound a bit posh. Uh, in order to manipulate it, grab at the cross, not at the bow. So when you go to make a loop, Stop when it where the twisted wire crosses. Do that there, not at the bow. I'm hoping I got that the right way round. Right, because so grab it, it there. stops it from spreading out. Yep, that makes Always, sense. Does it, does it work? Yep, that yes. works. Yep, yep. There you go. I remembered something, Joy so, Maker. The Joy Makers that is yeah. practical. So that's yeah, that's worked very very nicely that way. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, M Michelle, via me. Oh, oh, sorry. Thank you, Michelle, via Jenny. You're welcome. Thank you, Jenny, for passing on Michelle's hint of the day. You're welcome. Michelle's clever, isn't she? Yeah, that bracelet looked fabulous she did the oh, other day. She's ace. I found a bracelet of Michelle's in Mia's bedroom this morning. How did that happen? I'm not sure. She's a she's her mother's daughter. Is she? Not really, only in those cases. Right, so I'm popping it back through here and just closing up the loop again. Yeah. So that's how those get added. And the pom-poms get added on by needle and thread, sewing them on. This is quite a fat Did you sew them on, did you? I the always sew things on, yeah. So have a look. Just, uh, and it's a regular innie outie right, stitch. Right, innie outie stitch. Go through the centre of the pom-pom if you can, and don't sew it underneath, because it looks a bit dangly. Mm -hmm. you sew it slightly up to the This is a nice side. wintry piece. This is going to be brilliant at Christmas fairs. Buzzword, crafty buzzword of the moment is Christmas after all. I think because it's it's kind of furry and, and cosy looking, I would definitely say it's a winter piece. Yes, I think the fact you've got the sort of woolly look to it, even though it's not wool, and the pom-poms, it's quite ethnic looking as well. Uh, and I did say I like pink and, pink and orange together as well, which I do like. Yep. Have a look at that. So definitely so for your Christmas collection. Uh, Martha loves it. Martha, Martha's just going, I love this. <laughs> It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's very different to anything we've seen. I want to wear this in the winter when I want snuggly neckline. Because you could just <laughs> snuggle into it. It is, it's coral, coral, isn't it? Yeah. That's yeah. Martha, everybody, our executive producer. Lovely. And so once you get the pom-pom Coming pom in for a conversation mid on air. Sorry about that. It's all right, you're welcome to come in. You're welcome to come in to express your love for, for Maggie's jewellery at any time. And I, I think that's really it. What you can do is trim off little bits of ends later on if you've got some little bits of uh, silky fibre kicking around. But that's that's part of the nature of the beast. It's kind of, you know, it's got that kind of uh, rough silk or rough uh, rough look to it. Okay, so have you finished already for your your whole designer inspiration? I think that's it. Okay, yes. Okay, right. We're twenty minutes only, so I'm going to give oh my you. Goodness. We're going to give you a different colourway. Is this a different colourway? Oh, those are nice. These are gorgeous, aren't they? Have a look. Maybe we'll get Maggie to show us something else with the sari silk during that during the 20 minutes. Uh, can you make sari silk flowers? We're getting a question. Are they just going to be something that's easy to do? They should be. I've, do you know, I've never done a sari silk flower. Be so nice, Shall I have it? a try? Have a try. I think this is the perfect one to do. But look at all the gorgeous, gorgeous colours. At the moment, my roses are out and blooming and beautiful all over my house. I'm not supposed to pick them, am I? I'm very I don't tempted. Know. Why are you not them? supposed to pick them? I don't know. I don't, I don't really want to because they're beautiful, but... You know, I kind of want it at the same time. Have a look. You've got the green, you've got the purple, and you've got the aubergine. Really pretty colours, aren't they? I straight away went for the green because it's the really green. like potpourri for me. Look at that. Look at all of those lovely tones. The sari trio. Your uh, and this is we're calling this your darks, but I'd actually say that was very pastel. So I'm going to give that one to you, Maggie. Oh, to make a flower, perhaps with that, I don't know. This you is can our mix it with whatever you like. Then you've got, 
Look, actually, I'd say these weren't particularly dark. I think this is a mixture of like darks and lights. Oh, those are gorgeous. Aren't they pretty? Oh, Would you like these lovely. ones too? Oh, it's too much. It's too much. All the Surrey silk. Too much. Too much. Oh, choice. that's just like a cottage garden, isn't it? I'm trying. I'm I, trying to undo it. Hang on. It should just pull through, shouldn't it? Yeah, it's me. Now uh, we're going to give you all of this for one price tag, I can't undo it, but I want to show you, there are some lovely pastel colours in there as well as darks, they're not just darks, £11.95, let me just make sure I've got the right ones, ash and apple, yeah, yeah, that's right, because you've got the apple, gorgeous, I don't think they're that dark though, I know we're describing them as dark, the one is, the aubergine, yeah, the rest of them are kind of pastel -y. if I could, oh, don't you fight me, <laughs> Behave. Oh. Just, just if you give it a chunk. Where is it? <laughs> oh, it's you. done it. It's a headlock. It's a, it's a sari ribbon headlock. Look, I love that. It's beautiful, is that? Oh, it's Oh, lovely. it's been dip dyed, hasn't it? Oh, it's been dip dyed. That's yeah. gorgeous. Look at those colours. Absolutely beautiful colours. So you can plait all of that together, and then you've got the aubergines. So we're going to do a live now. Please text us in. Perhaps you've got some questions about sari silk. Maggie is here to take your questions today. Six zero triple seven, uh, James Studio, followed by your message. We've got another text uh, message right now. Uh, I have never liked yellow or orange much before, but I have suddenly decided I love it. I've been buying yellow beads and clothes. I love your show, Jenny. You are so funny. I can't stop laughing. Sue in Gloucester. Oh, thanks, Sue. Whereabouts <laughs> in Gloucester are you from? I want to know. Do you live near Gemma Quill? I'm from Gloucestershire. Where are you from originally? Ayrshire. Ayrshire. Which is south of Glasgow on oh, the west coast. You don't coast. live there now, though, do you? No, I live near Manchester now. Do you miss Ayrshire? Not terribly, but I do miss other parts of Scotland at times. Do you? Yeah. I go up every so often. I really want to go. Have you not been to Scotland? I'm so, I feel so stupid because I've never been. My, my partner had never been until he met me. I want to do, isn't the drive supposed to be spectacular? Yes, once you get, so, um, it's quite soft, the scenery down south of Glasgow and Edinburgh, and then when you get further north, it's a bit more wild and rugged. Oh. Have you been to Wales? You must have been to Wales, North oh, Wales. a million times, yeah. Well, it's like North Wales, but bigger, I always really? think. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful then. Yeah, I love Wales. I do I, too. Because we, if you live in sort of Gloucestershire, you do go to Wales. Uh, Katie Cornwall, hello Katie. Jenny, check between the seat runner and door of your car. Mine is always falling down there and not so easily seen. Good luck hunting. I'm going to do that. I reckon it is in there. It could be in my house. It could be anywhere. It literally Is it a little slim anywhere. one? Is it one of those slim phones? It's just a normal. It's a Samsung Galaxy. Yeah, they're quite slim, aren't they? Yeah. Other phones are available, such as iPhones and Quick, you're young. Sony Ericsson's, thank you. <laughs> they make Sony Ericsson's still? Yes, I live in Long Levens, Jenny, from Sewing Gloss. I know Long Levens very well. It's beautiful, is Long Levens. Everyone has a connection in Gloucestershire, so I probably know like someone it. that knows you. I probably do. No. I'm not quite sure how I'm doing this. I might have to play. Um, okay, so keep text messaging us in. Um, 60777 James Studio, followed by your message. Uh, normal network charges do apply. Our text message subject of the day was off the back of Frankel's fold, foal of Frankel being sold for over a million pounds yesterday at auction. Just a foal, just a tiny, tiny foal. I think it was only born in May. Um, now that was a risky buy. What have you bought that was a risky buy that perhaps you paid too much for, but you loved anyway? You loved anyway. L Y G C forty seven. I'm going to leave you there to have a play with the Thank roses, you. and I'm going to come back over and um, see what else we've got to give to you in the next uh, fifteen minutes. I hope you're doing well today, jewelry makers. I've got. Don't forget we had the threads up. Can I just give you a refresher on the Moonstone chain? If you've just joined us. We had today, brand new in stock, brand new, never seen before, a meter of moonstone chain, white moonstone, beautiful, beautiful iridescence, absolutely striking. Now we only have a small amount of these left. We only had 93 to start with. Most of the stock's gone, but there are still approaching single figures, but still some available at 17.95. You've got a whole meter 
solid sterling silver. These have been individually wire wrapped. They're beautiful, aren't they? Alexandra Alex uh, in Gloucestershire says, just joined in. Hello from Alex on the outskirts of the Forest of Dean. Woohoo! Love the Forest of Dean. Love it. I used to go to Cinderford a lot because I used to work out in Cinderford. And Simmons the yeah, is the beautiful, most beautiful place. Clearwell Castle, gorgeous. You're very lucky. You live in a very, very beautiful part of the world. And you've just seen the moonstone. Get on the phone, Alex. Don't miss this one. £17.95, pence, great value, and it's a whole metre. It's a whole metre. You're not allowed to talk about the bear if you're with someone. Yeah, don't talk about the bear to anyone from Cinderford. Perhaps the whole Forest of Dean. Not allowed to talk about it. I don't know why. I never found out. Sarah in Yorkshire. Ha! Oh dear, Jenny, you're so funny. Huh? I'm busy sorting out my jewellery ready for a sale on Thursday. And I'm chuckling at you, Sarah in Yorkshire. Sarah in Yorkshire, we need more information. Where is your sale on Thursday? How did you get to book it? We want to know all. If there is a jewellery maker out there that wants to get involved that's perhaps from Yorkshire as well, let us We want to know the gossip. Basically, what gossip have you all got as well today? Let us know in all the usual ways. Now, I'm giving you this beautiful moonstone. Uh, like I said, a whole metre. This would make the most beautiful, beautiful necklace. Absolutely gorgeous. I've got some brand new findings for you today as well. Brand new. Can I get a few of those out, Dion, or not? Can we do them now, Dion, or not? No. She's not going to let me do it. Oh, can I? Seriously, can I? I wasn't going to do it anyway. I listen. I do do as I'm told with Dion. Like I said... No one's messing with that girl. Have a look. Her son is that well behaved for a reason. I ain't messing with her. No. <laughs> I've never known such a quiet boy. He is so quiet when he's in here. He's so good. He's so well behaved. And he does sits and does his homework. What a lad. Look at these, can I just say? You get three of those leaves, look at this. Three of these, they're brand new, never seen before. You get tulips, you get five tulips, love. Look at this, look at this, look at this. You know my Janelle findings, a little bit like the, you know the double C's? Have you ever seen the necklaces? They're so expensive, they're so expensive. Look what I got for you. Just look what I've got for you. Are these double C findings? I like to call them Janelle. You might want to change that instead of with a J, but with a C-H. Because they look like look, they're the double C's. I love them. You are also getting giant jumbo shells. These would be great for making your own patterns in polymer clay as well. So you've got your shells. They could be charms. They could be, oh, I love those. Then you're going to get your flowers. Now you get the sort of... I want, to, I want to not say holy flowers, but I can't think of another word. So you get your holy flowers. Then you get, have I done these ones as well? Oh my gosh, I'm still going. Like This is like a maple leaf. No, it's not. What's this? Is this a rose? Let's see, because I'm quite up close. What's that? Is that a, oh, isn't it lovely? It's a rose, isn't it? Then you get, now you get five of those. Then you get, look at these. The other flowers. I'm not even halfway through. I'm not, oh, by the way, I'm not even quarter through. Because you also get, now look at these. I don't know where to start. Oh my gosh, the earring findings are amazing. Load a box full of different findings now. Right, you get the really secure. Oh, look at these. Oh, Maggie, you're going to go bananas. Look, so this is a shepherd's hook earring finding, but it's one of the secure ones. Look, fan there, and then... It's one of those, look, that you do that with. Oh, I love it. So you've got two pairs of those, not even half done. You've got two pairs of these ones. Those are nice, aren't they? So it hides the loop for you, so the gemstones can just start. Then I've got the hinged, two pairs of normal hinged without the embellishment. Then, look at these. These are sort of square and they make your... Oh, I like these. Think how they're going to make the gemstones go because they're like on a more square, so you're going to get more of a modern look. Earring findings. Stay still. 
there, another earring finding. Not even halfway. Then look, you get two of those. Then you get, look at these little rosy connectors. Get three of those. Still going, still going. Then you get, look at these for earring findings. Oh my word, two pairs of these. They're amazing. Oh, Dion, you all like those. They're gorgeous. Then look at these again, um, skinnier, smaller, extra secure shepherd's hooks. So these are for perhaps your gems of distinction and they can start right away instead of using a post and butterfly back perhaps. So those are really small ones. Then you get massive bolt rings. Perfect. Is that a bolt ring or is that, the, is that a bolt clasp? Yeah, it's a bolt ring. I forgot the name for it. And mind it. Oh, by the way, that is half the way through the findings, but still got gemstones to give you. Now, where should I go? Then you're going to get some charms and some bead caps. So you're going to get, oh, look at these. Oh, you squiggler. Love that. Then you get these ones. Oh, it was a lotus flower, was it? The one that I said, what's that? It was a lotus flower. Thank you. From who? Aaliyah. I love that name. Little butterflies. Are these butterflies, do you think? Or do you think they're flowers? Either. Then you've got squares. Oh, little pillows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. And then these are all bead caps in varying sizes. They, now, they're the same design. But they go down in size, look. The large. Looks like you get 10 of them. The medium. I've got two there. Come on, medium. Oh, no, do you know what? Then the design changes slightly. Come on, medium. Do you see how much you get? Then you get these little ones here. And you get 20 of those because they're in the next box as well. Then, right, there's, oh my gosh, there's loads more. Never ending findings, ah, a trail. Now, <laughs> do you remember that? I love that. Sebastian, chain, a meter of chain. Then you've got toggle clasps, bolt rings, closed really thick jump rings. Then you've got the tiny beads and the, um, and the spacers. I'm gonna have to show you them rather than get them all out. Tiny beads and spacers, then breathe. Peridot, Amethyst and Citrine. You need this findings pot for the earrings findings, for those gorgeous leaves, the lotus flowers, the chains, the double C findings. Now these are brand new. They've never been seen before. You get a deluxe gem scoop with these as well. Citrine, Amethyst and gorgeous Peridot. If that's not enough to float your boat, I don't know what is. Everything you need and there's loads of you in for this one. Let's take a look and all these glorious findings. Oh, they are fabuloso, aren't they? The pastel collection with the antique bronze findings. You get stacks. By the way, can I just say, where we've taken the leaves and things, we've only taken one out to show you. You get, so that's not actually true to form, that picture. Do you know? No, it's not at all. Because you get three of these leaves. What's this leaf again? You see this leaf, is it a palm leaf? Oh, is it a feather? It could be a feather, couldn't it? These are leaves. You get three of those, then you get four lotus flowers, I think. You get three of the shells. Now, so that picture actually, you get more than's on the picture. Dion. How much do I pay for something like this? Let me think. 40... 39.95, I'm gonna say. 
about 40 quid. There's a lot of fine, because I know these matrix boxes were quite were like 12.95 on their own, weren't they? When we did matrix boxes, I know these are new findings. Have I gone too low? Did I go too, too far down? All of this, I don't know what she's going to do it for. Go on then. You troublesome truck. 29.95, you need these findings. They are phenomenal. You've got so much to do detailed pieces with boho pieces. The earring findings alone are phenomenal. You can't get them on their own. These are all going to last you for so long. They're perfect, ready to get in your Christmas collections as well. 29.95, so under 30 pounds with a 30 day money back guarantee. Get them in your life. Pamela, you've got yours. Joanne, Patricia, Jurate. Uh, I've got Gwendolyn, I've got Andrea, I've got Susan, another Andrea. Uh, Janet in Yorkshire, you've got yours. KTD, L87, brilliant value here. You've got the gemstones, you've got the findings, and you get the graded plastic box as well. Let's not forget that. You've got the chain. These do come within the plastic containers, and you get four separate matrix boxes too with the gemstones under £30. Lots of you there. Please make sure you do check out baskets if you're shopping with us here at Jewellery Maker today because I don't want you missing out on anything, anything, anything. 0800 644 is a free phone number if you're dialing from a UK landline. How are you getting on with your roses, Magalate? I'm slowly getting on with them. She's slowly getting on with them. £29.95 with the leaves with the feathers, with everything that I, I just showed you, the lotus flowers, the Janelle findings. Whew, amazing, I love those. Well done to everybody that got theirs. There you go, Scotty McBot. I'm gonna give this to Scott. Unfortunately, I've done that thing where I put these yeah. and they're impossible to pick up. Wait, let's try it with the tweezers, Scott. No, sorry. Hoopla! No, I'm going to stab myself. Uh, right. Oh, thank you, Perido. Yes. I thought that was Mystic Coated, and it's not. It's just exceptional quality. How many have we got? 17. You have to have this. Beautiful Perido. It's m one of my favourite gemstones. I love it. I absolutely love this gemstone. It's August birth gemstone, so very special to me. It's my daughter's birth gemstone. Have a look. Beautiful, beautiful peridot. Look at that green, it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. What a striking gemstone peridot is. Very popular in the USA, where they call it peridot. Isn't it, oh, I just thought, you can see why Cleopatra uh, had this as one of her favorites, that and emerald. Greens are luscious, aren't they? And this certainly is a luscious green. I think it looks phenomenal with golds and pinks. You can make some really Bollywood pieces with this. But you can make some very classic pieces by mixing it with silver as well. The luster that I'm getting from this peridot, the fire that I'm getting from this peridot is outstanding. I absolutely adore these. Do you? Do you love them? What would you make with them? Earrings? Now these are graduated from uh, 4x2 up to 8x4. They're on a 19 centimetre strand. They'd make a lovely set. I think these would be gorgeous with your, where's it gone, where's it gone, with your moonstone chain. I also think it would be beautiful if you're going to put it with black spinel as well. Now that's very evening glamour, isn't it? Really blue black coming from that black spinel, it's gorgeous. Get yourself on the phone lines for these, you've got to have them, they're so pretty. Earrings, ring, what? 8.95? It's, uh, stop it's gems of distinction, Dion. You can't, you can't, she's taking it down. You're gonna get in trouble. This is to say sorry for all of the web trouble we've had today and it is troublesome tuesday it's 6.95 a brand new lowest ever price for this peridot there's only one thing to do and that's dive in with both hands forward 6.95 for peridot genuine peridot do get your certificate of authenticity don't you think this is wonderful value can you believe this price tag what can you buy for 6.95 that's what gets me what can you buy that you can keep that is that beautiful I really, let's face it, not, not really, you, a drive-through meal and then you get the guilt after you've eaten that and you can't get rid of it, then it takes forever to get rid of it. What is it they say, a moment on the lips, a lifetime on the hips? Well, my hips have had a lot of those moments. Uh, Fee says, hi Jenny, do you know that 
Do you know if and when there are any offers on satin cord? I have just started Kumahima and I love it, but need more cords, please. You've got, we'll see what we can do today. Didn't they, they had someone last night, didn't they? With Sarah Alvin. We'll check if the late show, oh, can you ring Danny? If not, and he'll put some in for you. Maybe, that might be nice. Tanya, you have got yours. Hello, Joyce, Andrea, uh, another Joyce. Oh, two Joyce. Oh no, Joyce got two. Pauline from the East Ridings of Somerset. No, of Yorkshire, sorry. <laughs> I'm making up places that don't exist now. Uh, Wendy in Devon, a jewelry maker from the Outer Hebrides. Janet Ooh. in Flintshire, Sylvia in Cambridgeshire, Jenny Marie in West Midlands, Veronica Zelia in Oxfordshire, Shirley in Suffolk, Carol in Worcester, Carol in South Yorkshire, Lynn's got two in County Armagh. Sissy, hello Sissy. We say across the lips, down to the hips. It's true, isn't it, Sissy? Isn't it bad, but it tastes so good at the time. But afterwards, I always feel like I want to shower from the insides. <laughs> Drink lots of water and flush it out. Rosemary in Sussex. Now these are genuine Peridots. Genuine gorgeous powders, they're sold out. Now the thing is about genuine gems is that's what our passion is, you know. We're not giving you glass, we're not giving you plastic, we're giving you genuine gemstones. We are part of the genuine gemstone group and that's something that is definitely on the forefront of our mind at all times. We're going to give you some information about that. Featuring genuine gemstones on our sister channel, Gems. Come along and see what treasures you can find. Get involved with Jewellery Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or, alternatively, go to our website and click on Watch the Live Show. Simply type your message into the box and press Send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. When shopping with Jewelry Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewellery Maker are never far away. The fastest way to shop with Jewellery Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the Watch Live button on the front page. You can also use our Refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one p and Enjoy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Before any of the gemstones that arrive here in Jaipur can leave Jaipur for the UK, they need to be tested. So all the genuine gemstone strands go from the vendor to an independent laboratory. They're then tested to prove that they are what they say they are. Now as you can see here, this shipment of emerald arrived this morning and it comes with this. This is really important. This shows that the emerald has been tested in random strands and can be proven to be genuine emerald. If this authenticity card doesn't arrive with the genuine gemstone, then the shipment won't go to the UK. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. 
why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers. You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the genuine Gemstone Company. Aquamarine is one of the world's most popular and well-known gemstones, often found with great clarity in a light yet energetic blue. Aquamarine is a real favourite of many gem collectors. As a member of the beryl family, Aquamarine's characteristic pale blue colour is created by the presence of iron. Gemstones that are coloured by nature in this way are known as allochromatic. This birthstone for March is highly sought after for its clarity, transparency and undeniable calmness. Morganite was first discovered in California in the early 20th century. News spread quickly and it became of special interest to George Frederick Kunz, a well-known and respected gemologist and gem collector from New York. In 1911, Kunz later discovered the gem in Madagascar and suggested naming this pink variety of beryl Morganite. Along with emerald and aquamarine, Morganite is now one of the most popular gemstones from the color beryl family. We all know having the right tools for the job is important, so we here at Jewelry Maker have designed a toolkit which includes all your essential pliers for jewelry making, including round nose and flat nose pliers, wire cutters, as well as a bead reamer, snips and tweezers. You've got everything you need for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Welcome back, you're watching Designer Inspiration with a wonderful Maggie. Guess what's in the next kit? Is this... I haven't seen a reel of chain for, for forever. I don't know when the last time you saw a reel of chain was. Can you find out when the last time a reel of chain went on air, please? Because I can't remember. Have a look at this. Have you had it in your day show, Dion? You've had reels of chain? When? You had them a couple of weeks ago. Well, I haven't had these in my afternoon show. I have got for you 10 meters of chain in a reel. You've got to get this kit. Now I'm also going to give to you silver wire. You're going to get one mil, 10 meters of, 0.6 mil, 10 meters millimeters not mil sorry uh, you've got so you've got one millimeter and 0.6 millimeter you've got 10 meters of each check out these gorgeous strands you have got three wonderful colors blue chalcedony oh, sky blue I like drops gorgeous and the white shell. So, so far we have a reel of chain. 10 meters of 0.6 and one millimeter wire. 10 meters of each making 20 meters. And I'm gonna give you two lots of sari silk. You get the purple and the navy blue and this is the yarn and you get 95 grams of each one the chain glorious you've got one of our most popular colors in wire the silver and that sterling silver on copper 
that has been E coated. NQG C97 is your item code. All of this should be costing you, actually should only be costing you 46 pounds and 60p, which I think is brilliant value. However, you're watching a cheeky Tuesday. Troublesome Tuesday when Dion's about. And we're going to take that price tag right down to £24.95. Oh! Oh! Troublesome! 21. Dastardly Dion and Troublesome Tuesday get together. And this is what happens. Twenty-one ninety-five. Well, Zoe in Bedfordshire loves it. So does Jen in Berkshire. So does the jewelry maker in Merseyside. Nancy in Tynaware. Michelle, you've got yours. Hi, Michelle. Danielle, Jessica in Hampshire. Twenty-one ninety-five. NQG. C97. Make sure you check it out, baskets. You've got ten meters of gorgeous chain. You have got two lots of wire. You have got three gorgeous gemstones, and then as an added bonus, the sari silk as well. You have got so much in this bundle with the 30-day money-back guarantee. Loads of you are loving this one. Hi to you all. I've got I've got two gems, one in Berkshire and one in Lancashire. There's a lot of trouble on this troublesome Tuesday. We've got Dion's and Jen's all over the shop, running wild. Tanya in Pembrokeshire, Gillian in the city of Bristol. Have you ever met a Jen that wasn't nothing, anything but trouble? Hmm? We do like a bit of a, uh, I, don't, I don't think there's such a thing as a sensible Jenny. Jennifer's tend to be a bit more sensible, but Jen's, watch out for them. 21.95 is your price tag. Kaz. Kazes tend to be a little bit on the wild side, don't they? So. Kaz is one of six girls. <laughs> I can only feel sorry for your dad. Well, he's managed. Six, seven women with your mum. Seven. <sighs> Does he ever just, you know, go fishing for the weekend? Fishing? No. Fishing? No. <laughs> What's he do when he wants to get away from you all? He can't because it was. <laughs> I feel so sorry for him. He'll go to the pub. To pub says Kaz. Are you allowed in the pub when he's there? Depends. It depends. Oh, poor man. I feel for him. I really do. Now, uh, come. You you must bear a grandson for him, Kaz. You've already got, you've already got four. He's got four grandsons. I thought you were the oldest. No. Oh, you're the youngest? Me. Oh, he's been saved, everyone. You can all you can all stop worrying about Kaz's poor dad <laughs> and his million women that he lives with. <laughs> he was there was a man who lived in a shoe, who had so many daughters he didn't know what to do. That poem is about Kaz's dad. <laughs> now Oh I know what it's like with one. Crikey on a bikey. Now Yes. Oh I like that. This was actually That's very pretty. This was actually a bit of a mistake. Oh, where's the jewellery? Oh, yeah, that would help, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so intending it to set up here. I know you made a necklace. <laughs> oh, have a look. This is gorgeous. You've uh, hand twisted wire here as well, and it goes in like an S spiral. Isn't that lovely? And then we've got a bracelet down here as well. So Maggie, you're going to show us the necklace. Yeah, that's talk to me about the kit and, and oh, do you love that chain? Yeah, the chain's great. I, yeah, the chain's fabulous. You've got some of it on your glasses. It's not. I don't think it's the same one. This is out of my bits box. So it looks like similar. That's a it's, good it's probably very similar. Yeah, gorgeous. So you, I love it. Well, I kept on putting my specs down and forgetting them and losing them. So I, I thought, should oh, put chain on my phone then when I find it. That's <laughs> that's an idea. Uh, so yeah, the chain's great, and you can see I've used it around the neckline and I've put some little droppers on it as well. I mean, chain just comes in for everything, whether it's oh, one God. strand or several strands, or whether you plait it together or sometimes knot it. Uh, there's, there's just so much you can do with it. And this chain was quite, in, here's a mistake. I, I, this, this was a learning curve, this, um, this piece of jewellery. But this chain, I, I pulled it just to see what happened, yeah? Because I thought it would fall apart and it didn't. 
but it actually elongates it so you if you pull you it you sounded disappointed that it didn't <laughs> fall apart there Maddie well it might have made my life at that particular moment I tried moment. to make it fall apart it just wouldn't it didn't how I dare, dare it, it not I'm just trying to find my other so place. it elongates you can stretch it is yeah. what you're saying yeah shall I try do to show us. you do do so it's a fairly so small round links and it must be soldered together pretty well for it to do this now I hope this works and it doesn't snap on me right, so two pairs of pliers mm -hmm. and just oh, oh it, did it snapped did. right okay I obviously did it too much but it worked it worked at home I know that's not much good to everybody else but so if you were to have just the one reel of chain and you wanted to have various types of chain if you gradually pull it apart it'll stretch the links a little bit and give you a slightly different effect and sometimes I think it's nice to mix your chain up and use different types of chain uh -huh. yeah you can see that there so you can hopefully see that this section here is slightly different to that section yeah. there and at home I managed it more that's because I wasn't on live TV and you're sat on a sofa or somewhere comfy yeah just totally yeah totally different but it's, now. it's a lovely chain to use it's really nice the links are a good size so you can put, you, know, you can feed things through them sometimes you get chain with very fine links and you can't mm. put head pins etc on them but in this case you can so that's so it's a really useful chain and there's 10 meters I mean 10 meters I'm just gonna fantastic. look for you can I just have a look at my um details I just want to see is it silver on copper or silver on brass Silver and copper. Silver and copper, mm -hmm. right, fair enough. Copper's nice and strong, isn't it? Yes, it's it still works got really flex to it. Mm, mm. It works really well. Okay, so, so. Right, so where do I start with this? Um, there's lots of little bits of techniques in this, in this necklace. So I was going to start by threading up and doing some the little bracelety bits, which is this one here down there. Oh, you do the bracelet first, yeah. the macrame. Is it macrame? It's macrame, yeah with those shell coin things. It's not actually finished off properly, so it needs a wee bit of work. So I use the twisting pliers, mm -hmm. uh, which I quite enjoy using sometimes. Now, do you put yours in the end or in the, no, you do yours there? I've only done this since I saw, was it? Rachel. Ch Rachel, right, I saw Rachel on TV because I used to do them, put them in the jaws and it was Rachel's on TV a while back and she said was no. Was it Rachel? It was Rachel. Was it Rachel? I can't remember. It was, either, it was one of the, it might have been Rachel. It was might Rachel, been, yeah. I'm sure it was Rachel. And she said to put it in the hole in the jaws yeah. instead, and it works not in the perfectly. Very end. So not it's to much put it in. It works That's perfectly. That's why it's got a hole in there. Fantastic! Really works well. So much easier than trying to place, especially thick wire, place thick, yeah. thick wire in the jaws. Yeah, don't do it. It was wrong how we showed you to do it. Yeah. First. So it's a bit difficult to show without something to catch on to. Are you okay with this? Absolutely. Have you done this before? Are you sure I'm not going to? Ah. No. You'll be fine. Now, you can attach this to a kitchen door. No. I or usually attach it to like a cupboard that. door, yeah. Yeah, anything like that, and give it right. a twist. So, oop. have you clamped down on it? I've have clamped down click? on it. There you go, it's not clicked. It has clicked, but it's not pulling. And I, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not down properly. There you go, hang on, you have to do it again. There we go, now it should work. Nope. Why, no, why is, this, why is yours not working? Oh, well, that's why, because it's, it's unscrewed, that's why. All oh, right. Screw it back on. There we go. <laughs> Live TV. Don't you love it? Jen will do it. Right. Now, now we'll swap. It should work now. <laughs> right. What's supposed to. That, no, neither have I. Is it I think coming out now or not? It's no, jammed. It's, it's jammed. There's something we'll up there. We'll get you another one. Right. That was so basically, that use your wire twister and you can twist it. Yep. If so not, you can twist it by hand by doing something. If you clamp the end of that, if I do that, you can well, you can twist it this way, can't you? Yeah, you Hold can do. It and just twist it that way. The good thing about using that is you can you can count it, you can work out how many turns you're going to give it over Yeah, it is better length. to use a wire twister, but it's not impossible to do it without. You still can actually twist wire in this way. Hang on, that's coming done now. Let me make my... Let me make my wire. I'll clamp it down in that way. So you just carry on, twisty, twisty, twisty. Which is going to take me forever doing this, doing it this way, but it will work. Yeah, once you start off, it starts off with a sort of longer twist. Yeah, and then it gets and then it gets more. tighter mm -hmm. as you go on. So I did that, and then not content with just doing that, I thought, hey, I'll get the hammer and block out. I'm going to have to fix these while there you're you go. talking. See if so I then hammered it. So. Uh, using the uh, the normal jeweler's hammer and the steel block, so I 
if it's a technical word, I kind of bashed it a bit. So I wanted to flatten it. You gave it a flat, and we have so got flat, this. But uh, you can actually see that on this one as you well. See on that I one looked as well. and thought, I thought, yeah, you've hammered that. If you've got the wire whacker, all the better because that's even better for doing the crossed over wire, but it, it does look great. Have you seen the wire whacker? No, I've not. Yeah, What's a wire whacker? A wire whacker is like a block, two blocks, and you whack the wire uh, to, it, especially if it's crossed over, if you've jigged it or something, uh -huh. and it works hard it for Whoa. you without damaging it. Well, this, I mean, that's part of the reason of flattening it, was to make it work hard. Work and, hard yeah. It, yeah. So this is, this is a one millimetre wire from the kit, so it's actually, in effect, two millimetre, and that just gets a bit harder as well mm -hmm. by work hardening it. Uh, so that was the idea of that. So then I also used, so after bashing the wire, set it to one side and I used those rather gorgeous little puffy coins. Aren't they lovely and what a colour as well. They're fabulous. They remind me of buttons on kids' clothes. You can use them as buttons, I guess. I reckon you could. I think you could probably put the wire through it or put double thread through it, make a little shank on the back. Right with I love around. buttons. I love little card, little knitted card. It's my gorgeous Frankie came to stay at my house for the whole weekend. I didn't have enough time with him. And um, Who's Frankie? Frankie's my nephew. Oh. My only nephew in the world. Oh. But perhaps the best nephew in the world. Absolutely, the He's best, He's got the longest definitely. hair any baby in the whole world has ever had. It's up here and it doesn't go down, it just goes straight <laughs> no, up like bless. that. Yes, how old is he? He was born on April the 1st. Oh, he's new. He's new. Oh. He's all new. He's so lush, and he's just started smiling and laughing. Oh! Especially if I try and speak Japanese, he likes that. that it, maybe he laugh. understands it. He might. Maybe, he's, maybe you're telling him a joke in Japanese. I might be. I, who knows what I'm saying? Could to well him. be. Seems to like it. Mia and Max are his favourite people. Ah! Oh. I know he's so lush. They grow so quick though, and I'm not going to get to see him now for oh, what, a couple of months. I expect it's rubbish. Now, so you rode how many? Oh, sorry, I just put a random number on here. Okay, if we can just tip that forward. So I'm going to kumihimo this. So this is beading thread, just mm -hmm. as a normal standard beading thread that you get. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to put that. So it's sure. There we go. Yeah, lovely. Just so and you can see it at home. And the sari yarn, the, sort of the, the kind of navy colour. You've done colour. the same thing. You've undone it. I've undone it. Around, around the top of a chair. chair wrapped and then it up gone into a ball. Blum, 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 blum. It's as well. It's as well that I don't have any cats at My home. My grand used to do that, but she used to do. We used to have oh, to do Oh, you to stand. This. Yes, exactly. She'd go put your arms like that, and That's I'd be right. there going, "Granny, my arms are hurting." <laughs> She'd be like, "Do be quiet, dear." <laughs> and exactly the same. Sorry. Same. Same time. Just those days. She used to send me to the. She was diabetic. Do be a dear and go and buy me four eclairs from the shop. No, Gran, I won't be responsible for your death because you're diabetic. Oh, I know, but where's the fun in that, she used to say. She, <laughs> she sounds really brilliant. She was amazing. She was a tough old bird. I'm just going to see if I've got any kumihimo bobbins. Um, let me see. But you might not have them at home, and if you haven't, you can use them. Um, just a normal cotton reel bubble. You can even go over the top of the cotton reel if you want to. It's just to keep it all neat and tidy. Got a couple here. So I put those onto Kumihimo bobbins because, as I mentioned in the first half of the show, or for those of you who didn't see it, when you work with this yarn a bit, it kind of expands. So it the tight twist comes off. Yeah. And so if you put it on a bobbin, it saves a braiding it as it, mm. goes through, uh, as it goes through underneath the wire. And I know they're meant to be for Kumihimo, but you can use them for anything. They're oh really gosh, handy. Yeah. If you haven't got those, please don't worry, because we don't sell those individually, I don't think. They come with the kits or something. They come with the kits. They? I'd like to sell them individually. We'll have a look at that. So you've only got two reels there. Yeah, so two sides. Oh, yeah, it, sorry, yeah? two sides, because I'm using the, the beading thread uh -huh, as, the, as, as the lazy. lazy. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to turn it around the other way. And this is a mini board, because it's really handy for doing small things on. You're turning it to a diagonal? No. Oh, no, to a long. I'm turning it to a long. To a landscape. Isn't it funny? People never used to say landscape and portraits. They used to go sort of long and thin or wide. Didn't and now, they? I've and known about landscape and portrait. I think it's because of printing and computers. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, yes. Now, I'm going to do Kumihimo the normal way. I have tried doing it upside down occasionally to show it on TV. I can, I can kind of do it, but my head's not. Let's do it. With let's it. do it the normal way. Right. So I'm just starting off, and what the great thing about the bobbins is you can just slide them under the wire like that. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's less fiddly. Yep. 
And on one of them, I've cut a notch out, so I know which, you know how normally when you're doing macrame, you'd put a knot in one end if you're doing the simple macrame? No, so you know I which is a leading that. cord? I didn't know that. Ah. Well, you know when you do it, you do it, you sort of one, one over and then one. Yeah, number four, yeah. yeah. Number four. Make a number four. Oh yeah, you're yeah. Right. Uh, well, what I normally do is put a knot on the one that I'm going to be putting over all the time when I'm doing the flat oh. one, just so I can That's differentiate. That's clever. If they're the same colour. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so this is putting the notch on it is hopefully doing the same thing. I'm just going to do Little a couple nick. to get started off. So it's over, as you say. I've never thought of it as a number four. Looks like a number four to me. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Even pressure uh, when you're doing this as well. And remember, this, this cord's not continuous. This sari yarn isn't continuous like the cord is. So no, no particular chugs in case, or tugs in, in case it um, snaps off or abrades. OK. Right. And is that one of the notch? Yeah, I'll just take it back again. So that's a normal square knot and that you'd do in kumihimo. Slide, I was going to say a button, slide one of your flat beads up. You can call up. them buttons if you like. They're like kind of button beads. I like them as buttons. You've got an, do you know, it's not Ali Devoy tonight. It's Hannah. Hannah Goddard. Hiya. Hiya. Have you got your chickens yet, Hannah Goddard? No. No, why not? Is it a long story? Get on with it, will you? <laughs> the chickens don't live inside, they live outside. They don't care if you're decorated or not. Have you got chickens? Yeah, I've got five Have chickens. Have you? Yeah. They're all laying two eggs a day at the moment. Oh, my other half wants chickens. Oh, I always get a double yoker. Ooh. I think they're lucky. Start the day with the double yoker, you know things are going to be all right. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So those buttons aren't, sorry, those beads are are not going to lie properly flat. As you can see on the You're going to here. manipulate them back out afterwards. So what I'm going to do is slide that, that underneath. Tell so it to behave afterwards. Yeah, so they're sitting on the top instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, instead of being partially obscured. So I'm not too worried about them looking a bit odd, odd no, at the moment. No, you'll come back to that later. Come back, come and back you're just um, revealing bits, more bits of thread as you go along. Yeah, just on unwinding it from here yep yeah. yeah. uh, which is a notch this one here and then this one I did two knots in between each bead and slid one up and carried on like that yeah ah, so you just continue on so the the the, the beading thread that's used as a lazy thread can gets lost in the yarn. It kind of hides it. Yeah. yeah so, in fact, do you know, I, I even tried this with a chain just to see what happened. It was interesting. Did it look good? It looked fairly good, yeah. But I thought it was a bit of a waste of chain after I did it. I thought you can't really get, you know, the chain's been hidden too much. Yeah, yeah. I don't okay. mind heeding, hiding beading thread, but the chain was hidden a little bit much. No, indeed. But I might try it with a silky cord one day and see how that, how that works out. I'm sure out. it'd be good. I think it'd be okay mm. because the silky cord's not going to be hairy like this mm. and, and obscure it. I like it like that though. I like the um, the organic look of this. Oh, I think that's where this where this yarn comes into. This will look nice. Um, actually, you know, you can imagine sort of chunky cardigans, which are going to mm. be quite autumnal. Mm. And I do think sari silk is going to lend itself in more of your wintry wardrobes because, and I know the buzzword is Christmas in Craftland, but um, I would say. Sorry, silk is more of a winter wearer because more fabrics that you're wearing, it does seem to be a nice warm sort of woolly medium. I think particularly with this one, the, the yarn one, because yeah. uh, it is chunky, it is, yeah. it is heavy weight mm -hmm. and wools, uh, not wool, sorry, silks, although it can be cool silk's in the summer, wearing, it's also yes. really warm in the winter yeah, yeah. and that's why people use it for base layers and things, yeah. which is the notch, that one there. So I just carried on like this. Sort of until I felt it was long enough. Yep. So I could probably call it a day at that from that point of view. So I'm just ensuring that I've got the yarn underneath. Yeah, so that the so that the beads sit on top. If I was to take that out. But just see there's a sort of tram line underneath. Yeah. Where where the beads are 
partially obscured but that's good because you get better value you can see all the top of them instead and you can there's a clear difference between the front and the back yes yeah, yeah. But you're going to actually put your twisted wire around the back. So I'm actually going to put the twisted wire around the back, uh, which I don't have because I need to bash it as well. So I'm going to have to talk you through that bit. Let I'll me twist a bit more. I'll take this off. I'll try not to lose the beads. I'm going to keep twisting for you. Oh, yeah. You have got the hammer and block. Um, I think, I believe, in stock. I'm just twisting for you to get a tighter twist. You're doing really well there. Well, it's easy enough to do with two threads. It's when it gets to three, it's not right, so good right. with the doing it manually, is it? I don't mind twisting wire manually. Do you not? No. Right. But then I, I think I'm quite strong in the arm. Right, could be. It's probably the um, only place that I'm quite strong. <laughs> quite strong in the arm. She's an ox of a woman. Here we are. <laughs> Fabulous, there you thank go. you. Professionally twisted by my own hands. Ex Excellent. So hammer it, and that will flatten it, and it'll also produce. Can I? Excuse me. It'll oh. produce a tiny little gap in here. Okay, I don't know if you can see that gap on there, in between the twist and the yarn. Yeah. And so that's good because you can put a needle through that and oh, sew it and on. And you've sewn it on. I knew you'd sew. I knew you'd sew. Knew you'd sew. <laughs> so opportunities to sew are always there for you. Oh, it's nice. terrible, isn't it? Yes, I, I know, do enjoy wonderful. sewing. So, so yes, I sewed it on. You can see the little black stitches. Yeah, so fairly strong thread, fairly decent size of needle. There we are. Oh, you can see, isn't that lovely? It always yeah. looks like a chain there. It does look like a chain, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Yeah. It's really pretty, I like that. And it holds a shape quite nicely. It's a shame to hide it. It is well, nearly, isn't it? Actually. But anyway, I did. Well, it's so. not a bad thing, I'm sure. So that, that was that bit there. And the same technique has been used on the, the top S spiral can you see on that one here yes, yes i can so, so that's that part of your s spiral did you back that with the twisted well, yes you did you did the exact same thing so i used this twisty wire and carried on rounds and made it into spiral we're getting questions about the flower how did you make this the flower down here that one i can do that one next so that's the uh, i've used both strands so there's two strands here uh one of them is the iolite this one here and they're both top drilled and the other one is Charles Cal Sedney. Sed Cal Sedney. See, I keep on going to say Charles Sedney. I, Cal think, Sedney. It's, I think it's potato, patata, tomato, tomato. Do you think so? you want to okay. say it, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so I'm just going to pop this on here. What I tried to do, this is a graduated strand. So keep the graduation. So I'm trying to pull this out gradually so it more or less keeps So graduation. don't do a Jenny Cleary and go I've done that before now. And then go, why? And then try why? not <laughs> try not to trip over your bead tray either, because I've done, I've done that before. You put it on the floor? It was on this little stool, and I could have uh, knocked against it. I do that, I trip over my own feet. There we are then. Right, so so those, those are kind of more or less in order. So I'm going to take, I think for the large blue one, I used about 11. OK. So. I'm going to centre first. Starting at the centre, yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm not being perfectly perfect about it because I don't want it to be sort of big well, and then get little. Yeah, I want yeah, them yeah. kind of. Um, I'm, oh, I've lost count now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Yeah. And for that, I used. 0.6? No, I didn't. I don't think the 0.6 went through it. Let, let me just check. You used. Wire, yeah, you I use wire. There's wire going through right. there. I started off trying to use a 0 0.6 and it wasn't going through all of them. Okay. So I used some 0 0.25 from a stash instead. Okay. Yep. Uh, I've used it before with the beading, wi uh, beading thread. You can use it with that. Yeah. But I think the wire just gives a bit of a nicer yeah, look nice to it. Yeah, nice and solid. Yeah. So did you get 0 point so That was from your stash? That was from my stash, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. 0.4 is what you've got there. Oh, sorry, I said 0.25, yeah. didn't I? 0.4. So you thread on your 11 beads. If you do them fairly random, then you're not going to get any sort of any sort of big jumps between the smallest. If you, if you were to do them regularly, you'll get big jumps between the smallest mm -hmm. and, the, and, the, and the largest. Uh, same technique for the the other one, the highlight one that's on the inside. So where does this 
Carl, sorry, Carl Sedgney come from? Do you know what? Uh, Hannah Oxbury sources, uh, Hannah Oxbury and Paula source our gemstones from all over. Mm -hmm. so this one, I'm not sure where the inf where's the information, where's this one been? It's dyed, obviously. This oh, right, okay. Cal said me, or heated, actually, sorry, to get right. it. To get its, um, to get its colour. It's lovely, it's an absolutely beautiful colour. Beautiful, isn't it? Sky blue. It's like a sort of real summer holiday type mm. of colour. Right. So, what I'm going to do is I've got it as this sort of loose circle. You need to leave a little bit of space between all the beads. Otherwise, it's going to be too tight. So you need a little bit of... Now, for this one, I'm just trying to remember, remind myself yet. So I took it behind the bead. Yep, this is going to be the face. Took it behind the bead and threaded it through. Yep. Slid the next bead along. And again, took it behind. I'll show you that in a second and threaded it through. So you can see that on the reverse, the little bit of wire holds it in place. Yep. Slide the bead along. And as you slide it along, it'll tighten the wire up a little bit. So that'll stay in place a bit better. There we go, round and round. Round and round to the back. There we go. There we go. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Because I do this. You sort of start getting towards you. <laughs> you do, you don't you? Look at how you start like this. And you're like, it's so hard to work. I know how hard it is to work at a very peculiar angle to what you're used to. Lots of people are asking about how you attached your chain to your glasses. I've had about five really? different text messages. Uh, with a what? With a coil and a bit of it's a boingy boingy rubbery thing. I yes, I got those as um, as ready made. I've had them in a stash for years. But you Can used I the chain from your stash. You said, so I used yeah. a chain from a stash. Yeah, and those are little. And I was thinking you could probably do this. Oh, you could make that. I reckon you could do that Out with a, a hairband. A hairband, or even those kids kits that kids are using at the moment. Oh, those funny things, the elastic bandages. Yeah. They're all over the place. Kids yep. are wearing them. Mm. Yeah, the multicolored things. Why can't we got to do them? <laughs> loom bands. Loom bands. Oh, well, yeah. all of them are wearing them. So I it's all little tiny elastic bands, isn't it? They're about it? that size. How do you make those? Tell you what, do you plait your horse's mane? Yeah. Little bands that you use for plaiting horse's mane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was they thinking do about the same that, tail yeah. bands. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's basically, it's a little piece of rubbery elastic with a coil. You can get those coil. hair bands in some shops can you? as well, like Claire's accessories and... And that just slides along and, like and tightens, that. and it's a bit of wire attached with a couple of Brilliant. couple of rings. It's a really good idea. Easy peasy. Isn't it? Yeah, and it uh, slides on nicely to the glasses. It does. You can slide them up and down. Mm. Yeah, it's lovely. So it's idea. just to prevent me losing them. Another great gift idea of your making. Well, if you chains. and not only chain, you could actually use fancy chain. You could do thread up your CD beads for it. You could do little clusters, I think, on the ends of it. Be really a little pretty. Bit, something a little bit more about it. A bit it. blingy. Yeah. Mm. Mia's lost her glasses already. Oh, you know that lovely chain you had earlier? Yeah. <gasps> Gorgeous for that. Fantastic oh, for that. Beautiful, mm. yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm all up for that. And it's about a necklace length, so you probably only need 16 or 18 inches. And you had it in that. Whatever that is. You can the use your, your chain that you got with the kit. Yep. Right. Yeah. Let's crack on with the cow said, me. Where was I? Oh, yeah. So, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where am I? Where am I? I'm in this side. I should put a knot in one end, sorry. <laughs> which my, was my working end. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter so much though with wax, it won't unping, will it? So in and out. So the narrow, you want the narrow piece, the narrow end of the stone, you want to be in the centre. So the tip. The, thank you. I'm just moving along. I'm about to run out of wire, so I'll probably need to add a piece in here. Is it easy enough to add in? Um, I should hope so. I didn't do it, I didn't actually when I was working on it, I just used one long length mm. of wire. Straight off the rail? No, I, I cut it. A kind of random length. You know, I could have this much. Yeah, yeah? about half a metre. About that. About 50 centimetres. Where's, where's that wire here? Is? 
So adding in. Are you adding in so that you can now anchor the eyelight? Or are you continuing with I'm, that? I'm, I'm going to finish with this one because I still... You need to separate each stone, don't you? I, I still think. need to separate each stone. I'm nearly there. So at this point, I need to slide it along a bit more, a bit more forcefully to make, because of the join. Take it to the back, take it through. And now it's not liking this, it's not behaving. Take it through again. Right, so that's me nearly back at the beginning. And oh, please take more time doing it than I'm doing because I'm doing it rather rapidly. Right, so I'm just tightening it up. That's the first wire, and I'll take that wire around a couple just to secure it. Okay. So this is the back, this will be the back, the front's the one without the wires on it, without the wires showing. So you can see the wires are in the back there, uh, but that's, nobody is going to see that, but it still, no, don't worry it about still could be neater. Yeah. It could, I'm sure that... It's got to be comfortable to wear though, Maggie, still hasn't it? Well, yes, but you don't want, yeah, you don't want it too lumpy and bumpy, mm. so neater is better. Right. So that's the first bit. So that can be neatened up a little bit and squashed into a better circle as well. And then the same technique was used with the iolite. With the iolite. Yep. Which is a gemstone I've not really used an awful lot before. And it's quite amazing. I thought it was grey when I saw it. And then I thought, was it Labradorite? And then I read that it was iolite. Iolite. Beautiful iolite. Mm. It has got a pleochroism to it. So you do see other little colours. Yeah. Gemstone mm. of Vikings. Sorry, what's iolite. that word? Uh, pleochroism or trichroism. Means you get more than one colour. Oh, OK. Like tanzanite. Right. And it's got a polarising quality that allows you to see the sun through the clouds. So if you're watching the Vikings on TV at the moment, he had a jumbo piece of iolite. Oh, right. So I wanted to go to on a different... It's good, that. Lots of tasty Vikings. I don't think they're particularly good looking, actually, in real <laughs> life, but these ones are. My sister, of, being a doctor of history, tells me how incorrect that all is. I think they all are, aren't they? Yeah, but I say, so what? I'd rather see a sexy Viking than a real life, <laughs> not sexy Viking. A real life smelly one. Yeah. With unwashed hair. Yeah. I'd rather see the, uh, the nice looking ones. No. So same technique with the iolite. Again, I started off in the middle, uh, and I think I put probably nine on there. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Yeah. Nine. And you've twisted wire here as well again. So at the back, the twisted around. wire as well. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see how you make the little flowers and so do the chain in a mow as well. Yeah. So I need to do that big flower first of all. So can I put this to one side and I'll start in the big flower? Sorry, darling. Sorry, shall I put this to one side and then I'll start in the big flower? Or do you want to? No, 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 continue on. Are you okay on. with this? One, no, two, three, no, four, no, five, absolutely. six, seven, eight. So the fall hasn't been named. Go back to Frankie and it's fall. Franco. I, I always thought it was Frankie. Oh, the ages, horse, the horse. Frankel. Frankel is the horse. Oh, I thought it was Franco. Or Frankie. Frankel. Oh, right, I've got completely the wrong Frankie name. is my nephew, but Frankel <laughs> is the horse. Frankel and the a little foal, whose name I've forgotten. I don't know if they've named it. I think I heard that they hadn't named it. Won't be long. Won't be long. It's unlucky to change a horse's name. Do you know that? Is it? Yeah. That's a good idea. Very unlucky. But it's okay to have a stable name, isn't it? You have a different, yeah, stable name and a competition name. And a competition name? Yeah. Oh. Or, no, or racing name. Racing, ah, yeah, yeah. Keep it, you've got to keep them clean. You've got some funny ones, though. And it used to be with racehorses, you had, you had, you were limited the number of um, letters a yeah, racehorse's yeah, name could have. Yeah, It's all got to be approved by the board. Oh, has it? Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. Otherwise, you could have some interesting names. Well, you did. You used to. <laughs> yeah, did you? you did. You some used to slip through the net. Yeah. Right. Are you into racing and stuff? A little bit. I quite enjoy it, but then I'm I'm not sure if I 
how much I enjoy it or not. I never win at it though, I'm, I'm pretty poor. Are you? Yeah, but I only bet two pounds because I'm going to go because I'm really mean about it. Are you? My son's particularly good. Although obviously children aren't allowed to bet, he picks them for me. Does he? Yeah. And, and he's always picked back winners. And so how does he do that? Does he just point at a name? or He looks he... at the horses. Ah, right. He never just does the names or anything like that. He looks at the horses. I take him night racing. Yeah. Me. And he looks at the horses. We've got a, he's got an eye for a good horse. Excellent. <laughs> he's got an eye for a fine horse. I thought you were going to say he's got an eye for a fine filly. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Although he had the funniest birthday card ever. I almost want to bring it in. It says, to Mac. Love, but not actual Max from Name Anonymous. <laughs> P.S. I do not love you, even though everybody says that we do love each other. And I, like, it was just made me laugh. All these girls that he's got. Uh, he had at his party. Absolutely oh. loads of girls. So funny, isn't it? And one even pretends that she likes Man United just because, just because she likes Max. Yeah, Lola, her name is. She's gorgeous. Is she? Absolutely beautiful. Is he a Man U fan then? He's a Man U fan. Oh. I saw it the other day, I was shopping out and saw it in the distance. So what in the distance? Oh sorry, Man U Stadium. Did you? Yeah. Oh yeah, because you're Manchester. Yeah, I was shopping out at Salford Keys. He's, he's been once. Has he? Mm. We're going to the Wembley Stadium Ooh. this month. Is that, is that football or is it something else? It's the Wem yeah, the Wembley Stadium. Is that only football? Yeah, footy. <laughs> Shows you how much I know about it. He's, um, he's obsessed with footy. It happens. It happens. It'll happen to you, Dion. Boys suddenly oh, obsessed. Oh, they, well, they do, don't they? Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is about football, but it's great because it's like, it sort of breaks down barriers all around the world, doesn't mm. it? Because all little boys love kicking a ball around. Yeah, they love it. Your boy likes athletics, does he, Dion? How old is he, though? Is he only young? Seven. Yeah. Bless his little heart. So you're just threading this round and round. Round and round and round. And then when I get to the end, if I pull the other. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? There we go. What are you up to now, Maggie? Nearly finished, nearly finished. Just got one, one more to do, and then I can tighten it up a little bit. Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy watching me sort of threading wire through? Well, it's nice to learn, isn't it? Right. There we go. Just trying to tighten that up a little bit. Tighten it up. Right. Not as perfect as I'd like. But so I that goes now the general inside idea. So that, that one. That now goes inside that one, except I've made the blue one too small. I was just going to say that. This blue oh. one's way bigger. Have a look. Same technique, but Maggie obviously made the big... At the moment, the cow said any one's a lot smaller. Yeah, so the, they, should, they should be so one sits inside the other. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then that was, if I can move off that one for the moment, yeah. onto what, it, what it's placed onto, I need my mandrilli thing. So I was going to do the big flower here. Yes, perfect. So that was quite easy to do. I, I don't do a lot with wire, as you, as, you might, as you might know. So I needed something that I could put, round, put it round and... Use the orange mandrel, did you? Aha. Uh -huh. So it's got some nice oval loops on it, the orange mandrel. It is available, yeah. it is in stock, it's on our website. Uh, no, mandrel. I use that one for the smaller flowers. And the larger one, I think I actually used a bit of a roll, you know, like inside of a... It was bigger than that. Oh, like a cotton reel. Tell you what, shall I use this? This will do the trick. This uh, is yeah. one of those things for getting... Oh, a defluffer. A defluffer, a lint thing. Brilliant when lint you're... Lint roller. Lint roller, thank you. A lint roller. <laughs> I've never used one for jewellery making before, but I needed hey, one of those yesterday. Time. I got set upon by a, uh, a, a black Alsatian in a friendly way, and she stood on my tight on my toes and I got had a big paw print on me yesterday. Ooh. Great big boundy Alsatian. <laughs> lush. No. Right, so what I've done here is I've used this as like an amandrel. I wanted quite a big fat roller um, and I don't appear to have it with me. And I've wound it round about three and a half times. 
I'm going to cut it off. That's so using. You could use a toilet roll for that. That you've got. It, it might squash in. It's something yeah, similar to that. It. Yeah, mm. yeah. The toilet roll holder inside it. <laughs> you could before you give it to the hamster, which is where toilet rolls go in our house. Oh yeah, they would, wouldn't they? Oh, they so love a toilet roll. And if you come to the end of a wrapping paper roll... Oh, even better! It's like going to Alton Towers for that hamster. It would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, so about three, about three and a half. And then pull it out like that. So what I'm doing is... <laughs> is pulling it across, so it's going to be make those rough loops. And then undo one of them, squash it in the middle, a bit like a bow. Okay. And then wrap it round. Let and then you're going to splay them out? Exactly. And then they'll come out. So using your fingers to just manipulate them outwards. That's it. Keeping that centre point. Yep. And just splaying them out nice and neatly. Right. Or as neatly as you can manage. Yeah, indeed. Because you're going to cover up a lot of this anyway. Yeah. And just in fact, the little, um, the little extra bits that you are going in fact to see. So you've got the centre point and then splaying around the edge, so you're not going to see that little um, bit that you've twisted around, so don't worry too much, you can see Mag has added some uh, lovely twists to that as well. So Maggie, just before you get on to the next bit, mm -hmm. uh, we are, are having lots of requests for more sorry silks, I'm going to give that to you now. You're going to get fuchsia, the pink and the sunset. Oh that's a nice one, I haven't seen that one I don't think before. It's got like little, um, little bits of orange, little bits of green. Feather in it look not actual pheasants feathers but that's what it looks like isn't oh, it? it does doesn't it one has one of those in one's cap when going racing that oh does one yeah oh ascot oh makes me squeal <laughs> uh, right now you've got all three sari silks the sari trio your pinkies for 11.95 you've got 95 grams of each and they should be 17.85. They're 11.95 today. You can get these by giving us a tinkle. 0800 6 4 6 at double five, or you can shop online or the w.jurymaker.com. Plenty of time left uh, for you to come and grab the kit. We've still got four, uh, whoa, over half an hour on um, on our demo right now. So stay with us. We've still got plenty of the kit left as well. So where are we next, my darling? Right. So I'm still up at the big, the bigger, the larger flower here. So. What I did then was I used the orange, the plastic mandrel, just to round out the tops of those flowers. Mm -hmm. So slip the loops over. That's your beginner wire there. Look. It yeah. is. It is. That's slipped out. So neaten them up with the mandrel. Basically, it's to give them a more more regular appearance, more kind mm -hmm. of flower-like appearance. So just twisting it around a little bit like that, and just jiggling it around a bit to get a better curve. There we go. Right. And then I bashed those as well. Sorry, hammered them. So I Get then I hammered bash, them. Yeah. So that's to flatten them again, it's to work hard on them. And I just thought it fitted in quite nicely. Wire it whacker would work just as well uh, yeah. as uh, also. This might be something. Have we got the wire whacker in stock, Dion? Wire whacker. Wire whacker. <laughs> She's having a look. So Kay. then you attach your circles. Yep, but somewhere along the lines of obviously need to attach your button first. Do you do that before you attach the cow? I attach the, the button first from what I no, sorry, you know, I attach that first the from what I remember, yeah. yeah. I'm going to cut a longer length of wire here, so I've got enough to attach those as About well. About thirty centimetres you've got there, haven't you? Yeah. Far more accurate than I usually am. You gotta be. Why? Why oh, sorry. be why have we got to be, oh, just because everybody asks, how much was the length? Ah, oh, right, that's fair enough. So they can make the exact same piece. Right. There we are. So I'm just twisting that in, so I'm just tucking that underneath so it doesn't come out and, and get in the way. So I'm going to fix that on the top. So it's just to fix it in place. And it's going to be partially held in place as well by the So by this the is just like tacking it in place. You're not actually firmly putting it in place yet. You're going to come back, or are you are you going to completely put it in? And I'm going to completely it put firm? it in because it, this is going to go in on top of it. Okay, dokes. Right. Now this is going to end up different, isn't it? Because I don't have enough beads on this one. 
Yes. We didn't. Ac we accident. Now I'm going to count the cow said nis because you okay, put thank nine you. on yours. I put but eleven. Actually, I think. Um, oh, did you put eleven? Did you? Uh, you needed. Yes, you did put eleven. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty-one. Oh, you slight 21. difference. <laughs> Little bit. Just a slight circumferical difference. I made a word up then. You're good at making up words. I love words. Words are marvellous, aren't they? Aren't they fantastic? Yeah. Roald Dahl used to make wonderful words up. Did he? Yeah. I like Roald Dahl's Me books. Me too. I was just trying to un undo this a bit and it's just not having it. Right, so if I can pull it apart a little bit. So the chain reaction kit with Maggie, NQG C97 is your item code. £21.95 and pence for that. Oh, we're 106 655 if you want it on the phone lines. It is a free phone number. If you're dialing from a UK landline, you can shop online. All the W's.jurymaker.com. Right, I'm just trying to undo this. Or I could start again, or I could just bodge it up a bit. Don't worry, we get the idea. Talk, just talk us through it. Right, okay. Right, I'm going to put that circle on. Still got a bit of wire at the back of it. And fairly so simply... put the larger circle on first. I put the larger circle on first, yep. Yeah. And then I wound it in and out. And then the other circle sits on top of it. Yep. Yeah. And that, again, you're winding in and out. Now, I think it's perfectly acceptable to do little kind of coils of wire onto the bits of the, the, um, the flower leaves. So what I'm doing is I'm just using the, the thinner wire that I used earlier and catching them on. It's also quite nice to curve the flower shape out, you know, towards the, the center a bit rather than having it totally, totally flat. Mm -hmm. Again, I think that's a kind of fairly natural flower type of shape to have. So again, some coils of wire on the reverse, and that'll hold it in place. Right, so I turn it over. It's a bit of a mess in the back, but I think you're going to get the general idea that's, that if you put the if you coil the wire around some of the well, it is flat at the end of the day on there as well. Right. So dare I snip this off? Dare I not? No, I didn't because I haven't done everything yet. So through there, through there, and then take it back through here again. So this is what we're creating right here. So remember it was, was it nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine here, 21 uh, gemstones yeah. here, and then the outside, then placing on the button first, then the eye, uh, sorry, the button first, then the cow said need, then the eye light. And you can see done in the same way, the twisted wires, we talked you through earlier, the macrame bracelet, and then we've got some chain here on some drops. So, and, and also on the, the reverse, there's a spiral on the bottom, certainly mm -hmm. uh, on the, the, the bottom there's a spiral from the twisted, the twisted wire. So, where's the length of twisted? So again, I used something to form it around to give a basic sort of circle. For the twist. For the so twist. So we've got the twisted wire here. Yeah. So put it around something that's going to form a nice basic circle. It could be a wire reel, it could be anything like that. And the inside of it's a lot tighter than the outside, so you put that around something smaller. And you're ending up with a kind of seashell shape. Yeah. Uh, nice swirly whirlies. And if I cut this off up here as well. Right. And then that sits in there. So again, you're going to wire that shape onto here. Okay. Yeah. So you just wire that by reeling, reeling, reeling. Exactly. Yeah. Okey dokes. And make sure your ends are tucked in, obviously. 
Okay, then you've got, I'm just going to talk you through the chains. We've got to go for a break. Uh, we're going to go, if you have a look here, Maggie is attached onto that gorgeous satin cord coming from the macrame that she did earlier up to the top and then round one, two, three, four, five, six chains and put some little charms on intermittently. Gorgeous cow sedony charms. So plenty cow sedony charms left from that piece. We're going to go to a very quick break uh, where you're going to learn how to get uh, involved. We've still got another gemstone chain coming up for you, don't uh, forget. We're going to learn how to get involved uh, with wire work. Come on one of our courses for beginners. Here's the information on that. <laughs> Join jewellery maker and specialist guest designer Louise Jacobson for our basic wirework course. This class is suitable for complete beginners who wish to learn simple wire wrapping techniques to create stunning structural designs. Louise will teach you all the essential skills to get started, including basic spirals, double connectors and much, much more. The full course includes a range of different wire gauges, a bead scoop, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet the presenters and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just $69.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Today I've been on the Wire Work for Beginners course and it's been really helpful to me. I've bought wire and I've bought tools and not really had the confidence to use it because I'd feel like I was wasting it. So to come along and be shown exactly what to do and have one to one tuition has been brilliant for me and it's really given me the confidence to go ahead with my jewellery making now. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewellery Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewellery Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewellery making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewellery making techniques. Welcome back. I'm going to give you loads of gorgeousness right now. We're going to start with the Botswana and the Rutile Quartz, yes? Gave you this yesterday, which Dion didn't realise. So she said, yeah, she didn't call it Forest Lake yesterday. No, she did call it Forest Lake yesterday. She did, because I actually commented on that. Right, so it's the same thing. So Dion says, it's not going to be the same price. We're going to give you, she's, Dion's confused. Have a look. So we did give you this bundle yesterday. Dion's just deciding that she's about to do something naughty. She's not quite sure what it is yet. So I'm going to show you. Tell me what your naughty thing is. And I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, that is uh, definitely a crazier price than yesterday, Dion. Yesterday, I think you paid six ninety-five. Now, these have been put in by mistake. 
It's supposed to be a new bundle, but I said, me and Kaz said, right, I'm going to tell you, Kaz and I said, no, that's not a new bundle. We had that yesterday. And Dion said, but it's supposed to be a new bundle. And Kaz and I said, we had it yesterday. We definitely did, didn't we? It was even called the same thing. But Martha, who is our executive producer, has put it in today. So you know what? Dion, as rebellious as she is, I'm going to give it you an even better price tag. XTG C41. Forest Lake, five pounds. Carolyn Kildare, you've got yours. A jewelry maker in Somerset, Somerset Ellen in L'Exemple. Five pounds for both. They're two pound fifty a strand. You know you've got a multi-buy this. Don't forget you have got a 30-day money-back guarantee. Ludmila, you've got yours. Helen, you've got yours. Susan, anonymous in London. Teresa in Kent. Uh, I've got anonymous in Hertford. Oh, sorry, Herefordshire. I love Herefordshire. Helen in Devon, you've got yours. Great to see you on my screens. Make sure you're checking out baskets. XTG C41, not 6.95, but five pounds, which is an absolute steal. Nancy, you're taking advantage of the, your one P and P because you already bought uh, quite a few things today. Anonymous in London is not wasting any time at all. Three in your basket, and who can blame you? XTG C41. If I had my phone on me today, I would show you, Dion, a picture of Zena Magorgesina from London. You know, the one that sends me Jolly Ranchers. You're not going to believe this. Last week, I think I had a total of eight boxes of frost, uh, Frosted Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious, even the chocolate ones. Then a million packets of Jolly Ranchers, plus, this gets even better, a packet of fiery cinnamon ones. I know. So my son literally is rolling around in cereal boxes at the moment like a king. Five pounds for this. You'll be rolling around in Botswana Agate and gorgeous black retail quartz. Five pounds. Margaret's got two. Helen in Devon, two for you. Sheila, Muriel. Uh, I have got two Sheila. I've got Sheila Violet. And I've got Sheila from Cambridgeshire. Shirley and Angela, you've got yours. Check out baskets. Don't miss out on this. Five pounds for the deal. XTG C41. 0800 is the number to be calling all the W's. .com. Hi, Joan, you've got yours. Sheila in Greater Manchester. Uh, Francesca in Surrey. I have got Anonymous in Worcestershire and West Yorkshire joining us. For five pounds, you've got yourself a very naughty deal. Now... Box, gorgeous turquoise, look at this. Now, I've got some beautiful turquoise rice beads for you. These are all uniform in shape and size. They're reconstituted, they're absolutely beautiful, genuine reconstituted turquoise. Reconstituted turquoise does not take away the fact that they are genuine turquoise. They have big turquoise that's crushed, 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 crushed down and pressed back together to form a perfect shape. So unlike buying dyed howlite, you're still getting the actual genuine gem, uh, gemstone makeup. You're also even getting a few of the matrix peeking through as well, which really adds to the character. Now these are going to be perfect for those summertime bracelets. I love turquoise and white together. Perhaps you want to put this with the moonstone chain. Oh yes, definitely. I got some gorgeous white keshi pearls. That looks really pretty too, doesn't it? Just really lift and looks so fresh and so pretty. White clear quartz, gorgeous. Becky calls this an instant tan strand, doesn't she? What about? Where's she been? She's been on holiday. She's been to Bulgaria. Is Bulgaria hot? I think it's really Has she got, is she that brown, is she? Wow, Becky is massively brown and I'm massively jealous. With, I think, antique bronze, this looks phenomenal. I think it looks great with copper wire. I think it's going to look gorgeous with gold wire. Going to be very Egyptian looking, very aztec -y as well, can't it? X yp 45 beautiful in earrings. And these little drums are going to make a perfect stretchy bracelet. I think they're going to be wonderful little charms, great flowers as well. They make wonderful flowers, won't they? You can use your debit card or your credit card if you're shopping with us here at Jewelry Maker designer inspiration and under 10 pounds definitely being uh, inspired by this kind of color it's a phenomenal gemstone december's birth gemstone don't forget which i think is quite important 
Nine pounds, 95 pence. Loads of you in for this one. These rice beads are 10 by seven. Perfect for little toggle tassels too. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Nine pounds, 95 pence. Don't forget to text us in. So our text message subject of the day was off the back of Frankel's foal being sold for over a million pounds. And it's a foal, so, you know, it's quite a risky old, I mean, anything could happen. You let them out in the field one minute and they come back not being able to walk properly. Um, that's what happened to me the other day. Now, um, what have you bought that's a risk? Maybe quite expensive, but so worth it. 60777, uh, start your message with the word JM Studio, followed by your message. Your normal network charges will apply. You can do it for free by coming through on the website, all the w's.jerrymaker.com. Click to watch us live and then click to send a message live to the studio studio uh, so we want to hear from you today maybe you've got some questions for us anything goes today or for Maggie or for Kaz give us a text in X P O X sorry Y P O 45 is your item code for this gorgeous strand kiwi crush bundle oh I like kiwis I haven't had a kiwi in ages they're supposed to be a bit of a super fruit aren't they How many strands? Yeah. Hearts and rounds. Four strands, yeah? I got it. Oh, I like this. Oh, I feel like a kiwi now, but they give you a bit of an itchy tongue if you eat too many of them, don't they? Kiwi crush. I like this. Now, I might use these separately. They're definitely going in a ring. I love them. Let's have a look. You've got seedy beads, which always excite me massively. Have a look. These are very soft and pretty. Look at those colours. Aren't they gorgeous? I do love a little bead too, do you? Now, you're also getting hearts, adventuring hearts. Oh, I like that. And then, of course, you've got these big flowers, which I think just belong in rings and key rings. Your big piece, look at that. I think it's cool. I think it's nice to have a cocktail ring, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely loads. These might make good um, cufflinks as well. What do you think? So the green aventurine play rounds are three mil. Your white agate, three mil as well. 40 carats and your green aventurine flat hearts, those are six mil. And your blue shell flowers are 26 millimeters. Now you might have the bead loom and want to bead loom these. I definitely think CD beads are are perfect for making little beady beads out of. They're also wonderful for soutache pieces if you're doing your beaded chains. I think, you know what? I do love a rosary chain with a little bead, like the ones that you've had. But twisting these together in a tiara would be a nice idea. How about an anklet? Now we're braving. Our ankles are coming out a little bit more. Now, now we're braving the skirts and the maxi dresses. Perhaps. Maybe you're braving a pair of shorts. Only ever if I've absolutely basted myself in fake tan can I do that. Otherwise, it's not attractive. Look at that. Candy striping them together is such a lovely idea, isn't it? And then I think cascading earrings for both of these, all three of these actually. I love a heart, and these flat hearts got a very nice luster on the front. Can you see that? So they'd be really nice if you, yeah, they're really, really pretty. So I'd make, I'd make a bubble bracelet out of those. I think it'd look stunning. And I'd do that by putting a, well, you know the really tiny skinny winnie head pins we've got at the moment? Put one of those through it and then just do, do a loop and make loads and loads and loads of those and thread it onto a bracelet. It looks brilliant. And then put jump rings in between, about three, no, two jump rings, maybe even one in between each one. Get that movement going. It looks wonderful. And then I'm gonna use these, maybe the children would use these because they're big and they're bright and they're bold and they're not frightened to drop them and not be able to see them. Uh, it is great to have lots of gemstones to do that with if you're going to be creating with the kids. Maybe you have a little crafty corner somewhere when you do your, when you do your craft fairs. Maybe the crafty kids corners are really, really popular. I love this. It's a great bundle. It's a wonderful opportunity for you. YGG C12 Kiwi Crush coming to you at a fabulous price tag. Maggie, what would you do? I love your idea of rose, a rosary chain. I like ro rosary chains anyway. I Me think too. they give a nice fluidity to what mm -hmm. you're making. So I think they'd be absolutely gorgeous with that. But I'd put in the little hearts in the rosary chain as well. <gasps> yeah. yeah, so I'd mix up the little hearts. 
and the the white ones and not the shell ones they're a little bit big yeah i'm gonna put them up, separately but those other three separately mm. i think together would be really really effective you know your glasses chains yes i think these look very good because mm. they are the right size the right fantastic shape, really yeah. pretty so that might be a great one for that now you can use your debit card or your credit card if you're shopping with us today make sure you check out baskets all four of these for one price tag 9.95 for four what's that two pound fifty each two pounds fifty a strand that's brilliant andrea from kent you've got yours anonymous got, where you go what are you doing with the price you are a ra you're a rascal on a stick your rascals on toast 7.95 you are a ra you are a rascal on toast. Look at that luster, seven ninety five, unbelievable value. You've got four strands here. Good grief! Is it two pounds a strand? Two four six? Eight. Yes, it is. Less than two pounds a strand, and these are genuine gemstones. Try and go into any beadery and ask for genuine gemstone strand for under two pounds. I think they'd laugh you out of there. Hilda, you've got yours. Sandra, I've got uh, Anonymous in Greater London. I've got Andrea and Ken. Loads of you um, stacking up on my phone lines right now. Don't forget to send us a message into the studio. We want to hear from you. We want to know what you're up to. We're very nosy like that. When's your next craft fair? And are you thinking about Christmas? Would you like us to do a Christmas launch here at Jewelry Maker soon? Or are you going to hold off? I know that a lot of crafty folk are thinking about making Christmas stuff now because October, November is when your Christmas fairs start to begin. Of course, we are already creating our autumnal pieces. Hello, Pat in Menorca. How's the weather for you today? Zoe in Bedfordshire, you've got yours. Sandra in Oxfordshire, you've got yours. Great to see you all on board. Hope you're all right there. Was it Zoe with the Labradoodle? Was it Zoe? Zoe definitely texts us today. I don't live too far from Bedfordshire. I do go there, I told you, didn't I? I'm a, I'm a frequenter of G&M growers in Bedfordshire. I wonder how big Bedfordshire actually is. Is it a big place? Does anyone know? No? No? Not sure. I do go there. It's next to Hertfordshire. 7 95 YGG C12. Hello, Amanda from Tyne and Where. You've got yours. Vera. Hello, Vera. Ruth, you've got yours too. We have got another text set from Sheena in Renfrewshire. Headlock. Headlock. No. Headlock. Yes, or head I don't get it. Headlock. Headlock. She's like, oh no, I feel guilty. Or is she headlock? No. You don't want skinny elastic. Or you do. You want it without the headlock. Oh, no, no, not Christmas. You're not doing Christmas stuff yet? But do you sell your jewellery on? I think a lot of people who sell their jewellery are thinking about Christmas. Do you sell your pieces on? Maggie? I tend not to, no. I tend to sort of do demonstrations and write articles and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, teach, of course. So I tend to do that rather than... Rather but than I'm sell. thinking of it for this Christmas. Having seen all those gorgeous gemstones a Christmas fair. and building up my stash, You've I think. You've got to book them now, Maggie, because a lot of them are booked up. Are they already? Yes, I know that. I think Gloucester Keys Christmas market's booked up. You've got it. Yes, I'm telling you. That would force me into yes. doing something. You've got to get. You've got to get them booked. Wow. Because they're so popular, you're going to get a lot of footfall, aren't you? Mm, it's mm. going to be a yeah, big, the big thing. Ones. Everybody yeah. needs to buy. It's not like people have sporadic times of buying. It's it, true. I mean, everybody needs to buy at Christmas, don't Absolutely, they? Yeah. If you celebrate Christmas, which most most people in this country do, in one way or another. Mm -hmm. So you know what? Get it booked. <laughs> Where would your nearest one be? I wonder. I got loads of you, loads of you. Hello, Carol. Lots of you into this one. Hello, Elaine. <laughs> Who's gonna give me a headlock? Sheena, I've got a big head mind. Got a big head. Sheena's gonna give me a headlock. Now I'm gonna <laughs> Calm down, Sheena. I won't talk about it if you don't want me to. Look at this colour. Oh, I love it. It's my lagoon, that is Dion. Dion, you'll be diving into this colour during your cruise. It was on the news yesterday that more young people are going on cruises. Did you see that? Yeah, more and more and more young people. I couldn't handle it, so I'd get seasick. I can just about go to Calais, and then I'm like, I gotta get off here. It's making me feel funny in the head. I have to go outside when we go to, when we go oh, to yeah. France. Mm. Get the air, 
because it makes and my brother's got a boat and I, I can't stay on it oh because it may, it's the suggestion of movement on his boat it's not even moving properly it's just that just go like that tiny not even that just really it's on the Thames oh so it's just a, a yeah. suggestion I'm like that ah! now <laughs> Are you going on a cruise? Let us know. Are you a cruiser, Kaz? I've never been on one either. Me I always think they're too expensive. Are they not expensive? Have they come down in price, have they? And then they could be, you're trapped on a boat. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm trapped, I'm trapped. <laughs> get me off. <laughs> yeah, I get claustrophobic. I can't even stand being cuddled by anyone that isn't actually my offspring. Really? <laughs> Well, you stop at islands, do you? Are you, are you might, might not get me back on the boat. In fact, I can see my family booking me up on it now. No. <laughs> what about the food, Dion? Is it nice? Oh, my gosh. Do I need to go on one? Lobsters, I'm there. Me and the boy. Are ma me and Max, my son, always have lobster. We go to an Italian in Letchworth all the time, and he's a massive lobster fan. I like that my son eats lobsters and clams. And Mia does. She's not so, she doesn't like prawns though. No. Anyway, you don't care about that. Why would you even, why would you care? I'm so sorry. Why would you care? Uh, 35 carats of gorgeous appetite. I'm being told this is being price slashed and we know we want this. We're thinking about cruise ships with this blue. That's where we were going. We were on that cruise ship. We were diving into the, can you dive from the cruise ship into the water? No, says Dion, not unless you want to meet with a propeller. Uh, now, what about, you know, this is, I have been to a lagoon, as you know, I told you a million times about my times in the lagoon in Thailand, and this blue takes me there. It is beautiful, it's refreshing, it's tropical, and I would mix it with yellow, yes I would, because it would remind me of the most beautiful sunny of days. Absolutely stunning. Uh, do you know what? I'm gonna go all I'm gonna go out there on a limb. I'm gonna throw some peridot in there as well. There's my palm trees right there. There's my lagoon. There's my sunshine. Gorgeous. Oh we need more holidays. It's the law. It should be the law. Now, ooh. Down from eleven ninety-five, we're about to do something naughty. Nautical. 8.95, that is nautical but nice. Look, with the spinel chain that's coming up in today's show. Ooh la la. We're gonna do that soon. We're gonna do that soon. Dion's been very precise about her times. I will do that in precisely 12 minutes for you, my darling jewelry makers. You're Sandra Cambridgeshire. Hello, hello to you. Gorgeous jewelry maker in Somerset. Colleen in Gloucestershire. It's a good place to live. Whereabouts in Gloucestershire are you, Colleen? Let us know. Lynn in Cheshire. Karen in Kildare. Anonymous in the Outer Hebrides. Dawn in Buckinghamshire. I've been told by yet another one of my fellow Irishmen not to kiss the Blarney Stone. <laughs> I'm not telling you what. Well, I will tell you. I've been told by a couple of people. Now, I, my family are from Cork and I want to take my kids to kiss the Blarney Stone. My friend Aidan and somebody else, who else told me this? Locals pee on it and then laugh when they see the people kissing it. <laughs> now, if I know the clearers of Cork, and I'm from them, <laughs> you can bet there's a cleary behind that little prank. Not me personally. I don't think I could physically do it. Sounds like a men, man would do that, wouldn't they? 8.95, Dio, is it true? Do you live in Cork? Why would you do that? I'm just gonna take some antibacterial wipes. But then I, then I feared that I was gonna wipe the luck away. Uh, Sally, you've got yours. Maureen and Karen, you've got yours. Elizabeth in the Highlands, you've got yours. Anne in Aberdeenshire. Janet in Norfolk, gorgeous Norfolk. Stella in Berkshire, Angela in Nottingham. Dawny in Buckinghamshire. I've got you all in for this one. Uh, Namala in the west of Yorkshire. You've got yours. 8 95 down from 11 95 A brand new, lowest ever price. These are graduated. They're utterly stunning, ready to go. I think these could go with gold and fuchsia and be very Bollywood. But I also think these could go with silver and be very bridal. I think this is a very versatile blue, a very happy blue, very sunny blue, and it makes me think of holidays and cocktails. It's like a blue raspberry color, isn't it? 8.95 DQR U91 is your item code. It's gonna go with it's gonna go with the Laramar. This is my sunshine has come. Look at this. Oh, 
Rough cut Larimar is lot. Oh, I love that, Dion. Oh, we love a bit of blue. I'm starting to get, I'm a green girl. I'm a green girl. But you might be turning me. I, I want to stay loyal to my green friend who's been my favorite color since ever. <laughs> but I'm starting to walk towards the beautiful light of blue. Green's behind me saying no. Oh, I love it. I love blue now. You made me love it more, Dion. You and your sunny lifestyle. Have a look at this. Seventy-five carats of Larimar, a gemstone from the Dominican Republic. Have you been there, Kaz? Uh, I'll tell you what, Kaz hasn't been there, but Director Claire has been there, and she told us that actually she went to look at some Larimar in a shop. So, oh, have a look at that. I know that. She was really expensive really really expensive so she didn't bring any back for us which i thought was rather mean she said she'd rather have the cocktails i agree with that i don't disagree with that policy daiquiri or larimar that's more expensive than she could have bought from work wow it's a no-brainer isn't it jewelry makers 75 carats of beautiful beautiful larimar crashing against the wave frothy blues i love this the texture, the colour, love, love, love this strand. If you love working with chips and nuggets, you have to have this strand. Maggie, they're gorgeous. Do you like a chip and nugget? Uh, yes. <laughs> I had to think. I thought food there for an awful minute. Not in a foodie way. No, I do in like a, in a strand nuggets. Yeah, I do like them. I think they give a certain sort of. Um, well, you said roughness, but I'm trying to think of another nice word. Nice organic texture. Yeah. Uh, and I think because they're quite random, you get all sorts of different effects with them as well. And on the strands that you got, you know, the longer ones with the chips, which are like double length, they're just such good value. They're great for, for padding things out and for, um, you know, for around your neck if, yeah. you're, if you don't want to use your more expensive beads. So, yeah, I love using them. Got I think them. this is just such a stunning strand. That's beautiful. It's absolutely such a gorgeous. beautiful strand, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Such a beautiful strand, jewellery makers. Oh, I got a text message. Hi, everyone. I am trying not to buy. Why or why do you have to do too good to miss deals? <laughs> I'm sorry, Amanda. It's Dion's fault. She's dastardly Dion of Terrible Tuesday. Sissy says, I love the Alaskan cruise, and you would too. Alaskan cruise? Sissy. Sissy goes on the most amazing holidays, everybody. Does She's she? got one of those really, we, what we call, it's not a Winnebago, it's like a coach form of a Winnebago, but oh, it's wow. all luxurious. It's like, a, it's like a, a, a luxury apartment on wheels. Like literally, like, um, like you think a Spice Girl would have one or something. You know, like oh, yeah. she's living. I, I, I imagine Sissy in her palace right now, a few Bijon Frises, gardener with muscles. <laughs> you know, this is Sissy in my mind. Sometimes she watches us in the bath. She's probably in one of those big round <laughs> ones. And she's got a big screen up. Now, uh, Sissy's saying, the food is amazing. Get a cabin with a balcony. Oh, I can't though, because I just think it would be so expensive with the children, wouldn't it? So, so you, uh, do you work for a holiday <laughs> company, Dion? She's going, there's so much for the kids to do. There's food, there's dancing. I'm going to go, all right, I'll go. Give me a brochure and I'll go. Can I pay it off over 700 years? <laughs> That's always my first question. How many years have I got to pay this? Now, I am going to give you a beautiful strand of Larimar for one fabulous price tag bgr u25 nine pounds and 95 pence is your price tag this is a gorgeous designer inspiration show. oh did you get that gorgeous pink magnetic quartz earlier goes very nicely with that oh i want to be on a cruise ship now why do they why do they why do they tease us like that can i play tennis on a cruise can i but aren't i like queuing for ages for the rest of the cruisees no are you sure? Do I have my own bathroom or is it like the Titanic? Would I be like downstairs in the Titanic? Would that be me? <laughs> it would, wouldn't it? It's all we could afford. <laughs> 995, BGR, U25. I like the idea of they're going, you know that party where um, she goes down Winslet and does her tiptoes? You want to go to a real party? That would be, I'd be in there. I'd be like, come on, Kate Winslet. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. No, we're going to go for a very quick break. When we come back, we've got the spinel chain. Don't go anywhere because we love you and we miss you. We'll be back after this.
have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Time for the spinel. Are you ready? I think this is my favourite out of every single one. Now, don't get me wrong, because I loved the Moonstone. I loved it, and I loved the garnet they had earlier. But this, for me, is the epitome of sophistication. They are so sparkly. I thought this was a precious gemstone strand. I swear to you. You have got rose gold on solid sterling silver. Black spin. I'm going to count these black spinels. I am. I know it's going to take me a long time. Maggie, while I'm counting, because everyone does not want to hear me count. Oh my gosh, there's a metre Why did I say I'd count it? Count 10 centimetres and multiply by 10. Oh, you are clever. All right, I'll do that. You got a ruler? Two, three, four, five. I'll count 10 gems. To oh yeah, hang on, that's not going to work. Oh, there's a ruler down there. There is an etaruchka right here. So what are you going to say before I interrupted you? I was going to ask, it doesn't matter now. Oh. Because I was going to ask you to talk through while I counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen to every ten centimetres. Times that by ten. 130 gemstones. Glad I never counted them. 130 black spinels. That's a lot of black spinel. Black spinel, well, spinel in general, uh, is found in ruby and sapphire bearing areas. So precious gems, actually, so often mistaken for a precious. Oh, I love it. Do you know what? I've got to have this as a necklace. You could double You've got so much you could make a double stranded necklace you could and then have enough for a matching bracelet matching pair oh my gosh it's so elegant this is the most elegant one i think you could strand it like that and have two strands of it so I've, and then just normal chain around the back i think it's one of those ones that you would wear all the time you could oh there's so much of it you have to have this jewelry makers i promise you with my hand on my heart you'll love it and by the way if you don't send it back you've got 30 days we don't even ask you you know when you go into the shop and you think, oh, I've got to take this back because it just didn't look right. It just didn't look right. And, and, you're gonna, and they're going to go, what, what's wrong with it? And you're like, you feel bad. And I, don't, I end up never taking stuff back because of that. We don't even ask that question because I think it's a bit, you know, just because they don't want it, you know. If you don't want it, you don't have to have it. So many of you are multi-buying already. Anonymous in London, two for you. Half the stock has gone. Anonymous in Cornwall, two for you. Stella in Berkshire, two for you. I've got Samina, Susan, Jenny, Norma and Robert, Sylvia, Andrea. I've got Jewelry Maker from the Outer Hebrides, Frankie, Ulia. Hello, Ulia. 
I haven't seen you for ages. Elizabeth, I'm not seeing you, I'm just see, listening to you. Amanda, Anonymous, Judy, Mavis, I've got uh, Jerry Maker in Buckinghamshire and Greater London, Carol in Worcestershire. Goodness me, you're all in for this. Half the stock has gone. F L O D, flood, 78. 1795, Black Spinel. Rose cold, solid sterling silver is a no-brainer. You've got no wonder you're multiplying on this. You've got a whole meter, a whole meter. That's that is a, a whole meter. Unbelievable value. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Don't not just blinking knotted it, haven't I? By doing that, no, I haven't. I'm gonna. You could wrap this around and around and around and around and around and around. You can do something really. You could just do this. You can sell that for forty pounds. I think you're going to make a really nice profit from this. Look, I mean, how simple was that? And you can move it around. If you want to make the glasses chain, it'd be great for that. Sorry, but I've got a big horsefly bite on me there, which you're not going to like seeing. So I apologise massively. Loads of these have already gone. You need to make sure you're very quick. It does look like we're approaching a sellout. Uh, oh, hello, Pat. You've got yours, Karen and Melanie and Colleen. Uh, you've got yours, Judy. You've got these. Uh, I've got Barbara. Anonymous in Buckinghamshire, two for you. Amanda and Kate, this might sell out any minute now. Janine, Judy, check out your baskets. Melanie and Karen. Uh, Anonymous in Staffs, two for you. I'm seeing a lot of multi buyers at this point. 17.95. Wow, Sandra in Chopshire, you've got yours. Kellyanne in Stirlingshire. Hello, Kellyanne. Did you know, Jenny, that he bought the foal with his damn crystal gaze and she's expecting. Do you know what? Yes, I did know that. Yeah, he got the two. She's expecting another of Franco's foals next year and she's produced a, a few winners. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I did know that actually. And um, and so it's probably less of a, it's a less nice story though, isn't it? I think people are gonna follow it. And, and I, I think when that, when you you see that progression, cause it'll be out to point to point and it'll be out to, mm. on the flat, it'd be nice to watch, it's lovely. I like a bit of racing. 17 pounds, 95 pence. Thank you for your text messages, we love them. Elizabeth, you've got yours. Susan, you've got yours. Leslie, you've got yours. Veronica, well done. I'm seeing loads of you. Uh, please make sure you're checking out baskets. Uh, Rajmita, you've got yours. I've got Pat in Lanks now. Joanne in Arizona, hello to you. Karen in the city of Bristol, hello to you, my darling. Do make sure we're checking out baskets. Hello, yo, Sandra, queen, queen of the one basket. Your Sandra always stacks a basket. She always knows that that one PMP is so worth it. Seventeen ninety five. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. If you're dialing, if you're webbing, it's all the W's dot jurymaker dot com. Going to recap the moonstone for you. you. Might want to add that to your order. I think they look wonderful together. Who's playing in football tonight? Then who have I got to be subjected to? Was it Brazil? Brazil Mexico. Actual Brazil. Actual Brazil. Yeah. Is this the first one they've done? No, because they, no, they started. Yeah, we started with Brazil, didn't we? They've got Belgium, Algeria. <laughs> Brazil against who? Mexico. Mexico. I can see the Brazilians winning that. I ain't no. I ain't. I, I, I'm no expert whatsoever. <laughs> what do you reckon, Kaz? Yeah, I think we've got it. Is Mexico a good team? Yeah. Who have they got? Chitrito. Chitrito. I have to do this at home. But last <laughs> night they had Ronaldo and they never won with Ronaldo. Uh, King of football. Jersey. Anyway, Germans were on fire last night, weren't they? Look at this, 1795. I didn't watch it. I, I listened to a little bit of it on the radio. 1795 pence. No, I like rugby now better. Shall I tell you what the, the problem with football is? They're such wimps. <laughs> oh, I've hurt my leg. And my son's like, they do that on purpose to get the other sent off. It's like, well, well, if that was you, I'd tell you to get up and get on with it. I'm one of those mothers. Get up, come on, you're all right. 17. <laughs> now, you've got your moonstone. Uh, that's for your moonstone, the price tag and that thing. But don't they look wonderful together? They're gorgeous, aren't they? Lots of you in for that one. Now, Dion, what next? Oh, can we go through those findings again? I don't have them to hand, but Kaz so kindly is bringing them to me. Thank you, Kaz, my dear heart and angel. Now, Scott's put this back in a different way to I had it originally. I like him for that. It keeps me on my toes. 
Also means I can't get it all out. Now, in case you've just joined us, you didn't see this earlier, I'm just going to look for a board. I want you to see something fan blooming tastic. I have got for you some of the most amazing findings. Earring findings in this I've never seen. That scoop's not going to pick much up, is it? I'm going to show you. You get three feather charms. I'm going to work quite quickly through these because we've seen them already. Three feather charms. Three, le that, three leaf charms. Three, I'm informed, lotus flower ch charms. Three tulip charms. Come on, tulip. Oh no, four tulips, four lotus flowers. I got uh, purple poppies this morning, yesterday morning. Now, you've also got three fan charms. Three of the flower charms, the flat flowers. Four puffy flowers. Let me just... Four of the double C findings, a little bit like, here you go, four of the double C findings. Oh, there's a little black, it's not a hair, it's a fibre, actually, from the sari silk. Now, I don't have black hair, do I? How would a black hair get on it? Oh, unless it was Kaz. Now, Kaz, stop shedding. <laughs> it wasn't, it was sari silk. Then, the most amazing earring findings ever, full stop, capital letter. Look at these. Love them! You've got loads of amazing earring findings. You've got two pairs of those. You've got two pairs of the ultra safe shepherd's hooks in medium. You've got two pairs in elongated of the same. And you've got two pairs of the squarer ones. Then you've got the flower, the uh, Tudor roses, three of those. Then you've got these, these are wonderful because they hide the loop so you can just start straight away with the gemstone. Two pairs of those. Then you've got, so you get loads in here. You've got all these beads, I'm gonna show you like this. So if I keep getting them out, it'll take forever. You have got the flowers, you've got the bead caps there as well. You see them all there. Then you've got chain, T-bar class, little um, balls in there as well. And you're also going to get the deluxe gem scoop, peridot, amethyst and citrine. I love those. All of this for just $29.95. Lots of you have got these. You get more than what's on that picture. Kaz, were you feeling lazy then? You didn't get them all out. It wasn't you. Who was it, darling? Well, you must name them and shame them so that I don't blame you. Tom it was Tom Fulcher, was it? Tom! Was it you? <laughs> you lazy little ox. Now, $29.95, all of that's great. Now, I have got for you... Where is it? Is it here? What does the peridot look like? Peridot? I like clear quartz. Peridot seed beads. I said peridot seed beads. Get on the phone lines now. Have a look. Oh, I love them. Oh, they're delicious. Look at these. They're going to make the perfect little accents, aren't they? Oh, I love these. Peridot seed beads. They're only two mil. Oh, they're like little newborn gemstones. Then you've got, look at these. Oh, I love that. On an English country garden. I've just remembered the beginning of that song that my children sing, and I'm glad that I didn't start it. Have a look. I alight. I would put the seedy beads. I oh, know I put these all together. They're gorgeous. Clear quartz ovals. They would definitely go in a tiara and a fascinator and so would the seed beads. Seed beads are a massive favourite of mine, so they're going to go in my little seedy stash. But the clear quartz are a must-have, aren't they? Look at that sparkle, look at that clarity, they're gorgeous. Look at the way the, the, the luster just skips around. Facets beautiful. And the eye alight. 
all gorgeous and blue and looking calm and collected. Those are six by five to 11 by eight and they're on a 30 centimetre strand. TWG C51. Would you put them together? Would you use them separately? What would you do with yours? Is it a stash builder? 11 pounds and 95 pence going down. How about I give you these for less than four pounds a strand? At three pounds and 32 a strand, did I work that out right? Yes, I did. Nine pounds and 95 pence. Misty mornings with Peridot, Iolite and Clear Quartz. TWGC 51. These are beautiful. Maggie, what would you do with yours? I'd try to use all three together. And I think I'd try to use the, the Peridot to sort of frame the Iolite. Oh, yeah. that's a good idea. I think they're yeah. absolutely... As, as, you know, as, a, as a bundle, yeah, as a bundle, yeah, I yeah. think they're absolutely beautiful. I think the colours are stunning. I, I love them, love them. You could do like a little halo around the eye lights, couldn't you? That would work very well. Mm. Oh, I like that idea, Maggie, thank you. Actually, I quite like it myself. I might borrow it. You can borrow it. How are you doing with your CD bead challenge? Do you like CD beads now? I'm beginning to like them, yeah. And they're big enough just about to go through that elastic. You can just about manage oh, good, it. good, because we wondered. I do like a CD bead stretch. Yeah. Do you do you it probably, with a needle? You need to... No, I just put, put them through. Well, it just went through. It went through, but you need Without to be going... careful about selecting. It didn't go... No, and some of them it's gone through. Not all of them. You have to be careful. Oh, but it I'm works. glad about that. Because I was thinking we might need some thinner... Elastic. elastic. Mm. I might request it anyway. Nine ninety five. Different sizes elastic. What do you think, jewelry makers? That's something that would appeal to you, like really skinny ones, so that we can do. And the reason I wanted to do it is so that we could do. You know how you get all those CD bead rings? Oh yeah. And that must be tiny elastic because it's really small. Mm. I, I kind of wanted to be able to create those. Nine ninety five. Go just now, my darlings. I'm going to give to you. <gasps> I love, I love this with the peridot and the eye. Oh my gosh, look at this. Mm, where's that? Do you know what? It's going to go so well. With it. Right, I'll show you first of all. Have you bought the Larimar? Droplets of sunshine. That is so gorgeous. <gasps> oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Now we're on the cruise. Yes, we are. Everybody's saying, leave the kids and go on a cruise. I like that, but I can't. I'm rubbish at that. I can't. I just feel bad. Bring them with, yeah. No, I do would, would like to go on holiday without them, but then maybe just for a couple of days. I couldn't do longer than two, two or three days, I don't think. Have a look. Because my mum doesn't live near me, so she wouldn't be able to take them to school. I'd like them to have their, you know? Anyway, again, you don't particularly care about that. You care about the <laughs> strand right now. With that peridot, oh my gosh. That is to die for. Ooh, don't you think? Ooh, what about with this pyrite? Mm hmm That looks really rich, doesn't it? Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Really pretty. Oh, I love this citrine, the gemstone of happiness. They're the perfect charms, especially if you want to send your friend a little bit of happiness. Gemstone of happiness. If you want to do sort of, if you want to make charms that you can give your customers that have a meaning, perhaps you want to, do you remember when Gemma Crow made the, um, the happiness? What was it she did? She put it on a card. Was it a charm? No, it was a wish bracelet. What am I talking about? It was a wish bracelet. Yes, you can make a wish bracelet with this. The little happiness poem. It's like a daffodil flower. Who said that? Sissy says it's like a daffodil. It's like a beautiful daffodil. That yellow, isn't it? I love yellow. I bought a yellow dress, didn't I, from, from a supermarket this morning. I know it was a soup, but it was, it was gorgeous. I love it. Not that supermarket, Tom. That's not really a supermarket, Kaz, that one that you just mentioned. Hazel, you've got yours already. BYR, U56 is your item code. Nine pounds, 95 pence. We're not staying there. We're going to give you a price slash on this one. Please be quick. I don't want anyone missing out. On this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful strand. 595. 
get to, get to, get to. Five pounds, 95 pence. This is a glorious opportunity to make yourself some beautiful charms, to put these in droplet earrings. There's so much you can do, isn't there? Karen in Kildare taking such advantage of that one PMP. Well done to you, Karen. Uh, this really is a beautiful, beautiful strand. VYRU56, 70 carats in total. And they graduated, they range from eight by six to 13 by nine. Uh, anonymous in London, again, taking advantage of that one basket price tag. Deborah in Lanarkshire, Amanda in Tyne and Ware, Teresa, you've got yours as well. Uh, Sissy is getting her gorgeous daffodils, of course you are. Deborah in Lanarkshire, you've got yours. Anne in Aberdeenshire, Barbara in Derbyshire, uh, Anonymous in London, who is really multi-buying for the champs today. Three for you. Three. Five pounds and 95 pence is your price tag. Judy, hello to you. Uh, Anonymous and out of Hebrides, hello to you. Barbara in Derbyshire. Well done to you. Ingrid's got two. Pam in Merseyside's joined us. Uh, Corolla in the West Yorkshires. The West Yorkshires? The West of Yorkshire is what I meant. Are you from Yorkshire? Yeah, you are. The West of Yorkshire. I want to go. I want to go. You live on the West Side, don't you? I live countryside. You live West Side. Um, I've got... Can you put it over there? I can't see. Uh, Sheena from Wembridge. Love the football being on because I can go upstairs and watch JM on the other telly in peace. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, also got a phone and my tablet up there. I love that. I was, I've was. i started doing that. Do you know what they do then? You go into bed, I've started Julie Cooper when I haven't read for a while. Then as soon as it's over, they come in, what are you doing? Oh good, because I'm just going to put the highlights on. I'm like, no, get lost. I'm in here. Yes, but I want to spend some time with you without football. I, if you're coming in here, you are putting something nice on the telly. What did I do on purpose the other day? Put Frankie and Johnny on, because I knew he'd hate that. And do you know what he did? And I would never do this. He turned it off and went to sleep. I'm going to come into the, I'm going to go into the lounge. I'm going to turn it off and then just go to sleep on the sofa. Well, they, it's all right for them, isn't it? And do you think I'm allowed any of my TV on? No, no, I'm not. When it's Hickstead on, do you think I'm allowed horse and country on the telly? No, not in your blooming life, I'm not. I'm not even allowed to watch that thing I like. What, I can't even remember what it's called. No, Moon Boy. Goes mad at that. I love Moon Boy. I love it. Have you never seen it? Makes me laugh so much. Is it comedy? Yeah, it's brilliant. You've got to watch it. It's so funny. I'm not... Oh, you just keep... What's Rasta Mouse? You don't know Rasta Mouse? I don't know. No, but my son knows who Rasta Mouse is. And we... Ha we in our annex, we got an amazing guy. I was just telling you who is um, from Jamaica and he does a Rasta Mouse impression for Max. And I keep telling him to stop it, but Aaron keeps doing it anyway. <laughs> and I don't even know who he is. And you all watch Rasta Mouse, do you? I have got no clue what they're talking about. Uh, loads of you... Yeah, loads of you in uh, for this one. <gasps> mm, let's get. I thought it was empty. I was about to go mad, and it's nice down here. <laughs> no. Yellow sapphires. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. You know what? You know sometimes you just want something special. Sometimes you want to eat lobster. Sometimes you want to drink champagne can't always have the finer things in life. I, uh, of course, we all understand that. We can't, can we? Unless, of course, you're from the, uh, from the Merle clan, like Posh Scott is. And then it's pretty much lobster for breakfast with a, champ a champagne breakfast every day in the Merle house. <laughs> now, look at this. We can't all have a champagne breakfast every day. We can't all have lobster every day. Well, some of us might be able to, but most people can't. We can't all have sapphire every day, unless you shop here at Jewelry Maker, where we give you phenomenal price tags for beautiful gemstones. Look at that color. Look at that glow, a glow that you would only get from yellow sapphire like the sunset. A different yellow entirely to the one you're gonna get from citrine. A different yellow entirely. I love this too. Isn't it, just look at that cloud, you can tell. This is the creme de la creme. 
lemon sorbet. They're like yellow diamonds to me. I am, can you tell the difference between a yellow sapphire and a yellow diamond by naked eye? I'm going to be really honest with you, and it's probably going to sound quite bad. I can't tell the difference by the naked eye sometimes, especially when it's a strand like this. I do know I wouldn't be bringing you a strand like this of yellow diamonds because it would be a couple of hundred quid, perhaps. We're going to give you a price slash on this. They're not even over £30. Should be paying twenty nine ninety five. We're not even going to give you that price tag today. Is this a brand new lowest ever? We're going to give you the lowest ever price tag, £21.95 pence for September's birth gemstone for a precious strand, a precious strand of yellow sapphires. Deborah in Leicestershire, you've got yours. Joanne in Essex, you have yours. Jacqueline in Cumbria, you have yours. MGGZ78 is your item code. Lots of you in for this one. Twinkling, sparkling, and absolutely wonderful. 20 carats, let's think about one carat in a diamond ring. Girls, we want a one carat diamond ring. You want a one carat diamond ring, right, Dion? When you've stopped scaring men away. Oh, you want five carats, okay, carry on, love. Uh, Kaz, one carat diamond ring would be nice, wouldn't it? I'll take that too. I don't know many girls that have got a full carat. A lot of them have got three quarter carats. My friend Belinda, you know, who goes on, who has, you know, an expensive lifestyle. She can get a full carat. I'm giving you 20 carats. A full carat of a precious gemstone is expensive. That's my point. 21.95. Lynn in Greater Manchester. Unbelievable. You should be absolutely biting my arm off for this one. 21.95. Beautiful yellow sapphire. Lynn, you've got yours. Great to see you all on my screens. Anonymous in Cheshire, you've got yours. Jacqueline in Cumbria, Deborah in Leicestershire, uh, Joanne in Essex. Are these going to sell out? MGG Z78. Is this the last, last time you're going to see this? Do you want it? Do you love it? Do you need it? Wouldn't you just love to work with yellow sapphires? Did my whingy girl voice then? I need it. It's funny how girls do that. We need things instead of just, I would like that or I want that. We need it. Do you? You do, don't you? Check out baskets. Elizabeth's joined us from Surrey. I've got a wire offer. I've just da -da 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 in my ear. Wire offer. Breaking news. OK, yeah. Zero point six, two lots of zero point six. So this is a wire twisted together. Rachel Norris used this on the Grecian band that she did with uh, twisted gizmos. She gizmoed it all and then twisted it together. It looked wonderful. These will plait together really nicely as well. I'm going to give you a wonderful deal. You're going to get one hundred meters of purple in zero point six. You're going to get one hundred meters of turquoise in zero point six. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready for this wire work deal. We are going to give you an outstanding saving. Wire is wonderful for making your own findings with in 0.6. Wire is wonderful for gizmo coiling. It's great in these colours if you want to do a fusion blend. Maybe you've got Karen Crawford's DVD and you want to do that Viking knit fusion blend. Maybe you want to make lots of gizmo coils. Maybe you want to do a lot of wire twisting. Maybe you want to make some really colourful bright pieces. I think these two colours together look phenomenal and I think they could be quite evening. I think they could be a, bit, a little bit more wintry. I think these are going to go very well with your amethyst colours if you want to keep that purple theme. If you bought the Neon Appetite, uh, the blue wire, the turquoise wire is going to go perfectly with that, uh, of course, off the same boat. The turquoise would look wonderful with the turquoise wire, any kind of turquoise, whether it's reconstituted, whether it's dyed highlight, or whether it's a little delicate turquoise. 0.6 is great for doing your uh, tiara twists. 0.6 is wonderful for doing so much. Now, you can weave with 0.6, you can rosary wit link, not rosary wink, rosary link with 0.6. You can, of course, like I said, do the wire twister. You can macrame with it, you can plait with it, you can make your own findings with it. It's perfect to go through an ear piercing. It's still fine to go through your ear piercings, so you can make your own shepherdy hooks 
with this. A very versatile wire if you've just started with your wire work and you're not quite sure where to start. We've got loads of free downloads on our website, jewelrymaker.com. You can also grab one of our DVDs, they're only $4.95. Start with wire work for beginners and start exploring from there on in. I'm going to give you a great deal. They should be $19.95 each. So what's that? It is $39.90. Oh, I worked that out myself. I got all in a panic then about maths. Should be thirty nine ninety. Troublesome Tuesday says it's twenty five pounds and ninety five pence. You're going to get a great. Well, you have got a great saving, Maria, Patricia, Andrea. You're already in for this one. Twenty five ninety five, making this a much more affordable way to get wire working. Well done to everybody who's got theirs. It's great to see you all on my phone lines. 0806 444655. Jen in Berkshire, you're there. All the W's dot jewelrymaker dot com. Uh, we got more. Keep texting us. I love it. This is a great, great deal. Make sure you know this is a great deal. Sandra in Oxfordshire. Jen, hang on. Can you put it the other side? I can't see it that side, Tom. Over he goes. Jen, I didn't get a full carrot ring, but my goodness, I got a huge gem of a husband. Oh, Sandra, that's really sweet. Wonder how long they've been married. We got another text. Text in, Sandra. She want, we want to know. We want to, you can't just give us that. We want to know who he is. We want to name this wonderful husband. Oh, Dion wants to know the full gossip. She wants to know where she finds a van like this. I actually don't think it... If I'm honest, if you really love someone, it doesn't matter about rings and stuff does it might live to regret that statement <laughs> but I actually don't think am I on my own for that one Dion I don't think it does I don't even care about it if I'm honest I do well I do a little bit actually <laughs> <laughs> no I don't but I do no I don't I don't actually I'd prefer to be happy live in a shed with nothing than be miserable live in a palace with everything wouldn't you i know we're talking about the ring all girls what okay i do want it is it the be all and end all no no some people don't get a proposal with the ring they go and choose it what's that d d would you do that no. would you choose would you trust a man's choice you can't exchange an engagement ring. No, you can't. I don't think you can. It symbolizes the moment. Kaz is a difficult one. She's one of six girls. I'm a Leo as well. Oh, and she's a Leo. <laughs> oh, you're probably likely to get married about seven times then, according to other Leos that I know. 25, 95. <laughs> my other half's a Leo. And so is my dad. So I can definitely uh, speak from experience. We'll leave that one where it is, jewelry makers. <laughs> now, I'm going to give you a bead reamer. Now, bead reamers are fab. This is, uh, it's got its own little bead reamer. That's my uh, theme tune for bead reamer. I hope my phone is in my car, like has been predicted by my f If it's in there, how many people have t texted in? About eight people. I, well, I wouldn't be the clairvoyant one. They would be. I did connect with them. Yeah, I did that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Have a look. You've got your bee dreamer. I, listen, Tom, I'm not going to say anything. Well, in fact, I am. I predicted your future, and I've been right so far. I predicted the date of Carol's birth to Harriet, and it was right. Lots of other things. No, not my own. You can't do yourself. You can't. No. I wish you could. You can't. I have got a beadsmith fine tipped bead reamer for you. So this is going to be great for pearls. It could be a keshi pearl. It could be well, well, any number of gemstones. What you do with these. If I've got a gemstone, I can demonstrate with. No, never mind then. Um, <laughs> You carefully put the tip into the reamer 
of the remit into the bead. You then hold the tip firmly in the bead and twist the bead, not the reamer. Because if you twist the bead, if you twist the reamer, you, you sort of don't get to feel, oh, oh, it's, it's got enough. You know, you don't want to snap the bead in half. Stop twisting, keep checking. Got any pearls there, individuals? Lovely, thanks Maggie. There's some more in there. She'll thanks to my lovely, lovely. Now say this pearl was not having any of having my beading thread through it and I was like, you know what pearl? You need to go on that strand. I would take the reamer and I'm gonna move the pearl. I'm gonna keep checking it. <sighs> Give it a blow, just for luck. Do it both sides. Remember we are moving the pearl. Okay, and what you're doing is just making the drill hole a little bit bigger. There is a huge temptation to move the reamer. Don't do that, move the pearl, because you can actually feel when the pearl doesn't want to go, it might break. And my pearl doesn't want to go there, so I'm not going to force it, okay? That's about... <sighs> and if you can see through it, you're good, because sometimes the gemstone dust gets caught inside. <sighs> Give it a blow, and then you're done. Your bead and thread should go through there quite nicely now. So your bead and pearl reamer. All yours, wonderful quality, and this is brought to you by the Beadsmith Company, a USA company that are jewelry maker specific. It's four pounds and 95 pence, it's a wonderful bit of kit. Great to have in your stash. Great to have a pokey picky tool uh, for lots of different reasons. If you're using wire work, it's always great to have a pokey picky. Great if you are um, using, using these for things like friendly plastic. Pokey pickies are great for doing frills and things like that too. Muriel, Wendy and the Isle of Man, two for you. Sue, Suzanne, jewellery maker staff, who's probably, Suzanne, there's loads of, are you a grandmother yet or what? Text me in, Suzanne. Are you upstairs? She's got one in her basket. Muriel, uh, Jane, you've got yours, Anonymous in Devon. You've got yours. It's great to have you all on board. Thanks so much for grabbing your Rima. Oh yeah, I've got a lovely bundle for you now. Let me just, I've got one up there. What, the, bri the reamer's brilliant? Yeah. I've got one of those reamers, they're fantastic. Do you always move the pearl and not the reamer? Yeah. Because you can you can feel when it's going to give, mm. can't mm. you? Isn't it because they drill from both sides or something? Yeah, you don't and you always need to get do the that. whole meeting in the middle. Yeah, you so. need to do that as well. You mm. need to change sides. Yeah. Don't try and go all the way through because it won't happen with a pearl anyway. And that's a brilliant price, I have to say, that one. Do I you know, it's. It under five quid. I know, it's, it's really, really good. It's I paid considerably more for mine. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. Is it the same one? I'm fairly certain it's a beadsmith. It comes in the same packaging. It comes in a little tube like that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. It comes in a tube, which is also great for using as a wire round. Oh, it's a mandrel. Yeah. Oh, I never thought. Never chuck any. That's brilliant for a big old jump ring, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Never thought. 4.95. Sorry, darling, let me do this. Scott's doing what? Being repulsive. Oh, Scott, didn't they te teach you not to do that? Now, I'm giving you the pearls, the pyrite, and... Mm -mm -mm. Oh, these big chunky... Oh, what I did, I thought I'd be in it. Oh, I like this, Dion. This, this is so Grecian. Oh, I love this. Oh, it's reminding me. Oh, it's lovely. It's like the book Spartacus. Have you ever read that? Have a look. Oh, I love it. How Grecian is that? Oh, I think that's beautiful. I keep those all together. This is my favorite bundle of the day. Do you know that? I love it. I absolutely love it. That's gorgeous. Isn't it's it? It's even yes. nicer in real life than it is on screen. I want them. They're so beautiful it's together. Gorgeous, I yeah. love an Amazonite. I think there's such a vintage feel to that colour. Look, look at that. Isn't it pretty? Oh, it's so gorgeous. Beading thread through there. I'd plait them all together. I'd put them in a necklace, like a Roman goddess. I'd put these in earrings. The little twinkly pyrites are phenomenally pretty. I would wear this with a white maxi dress having slimmed down considerably enough to wear a white maxi dress. You've got to be very careful when wearing white as a one block colour. 
These are gorge. Oh, I love this, Dion. Mm. It's my favorite bundle of the day. Keshi pearls as well, they give you such an amazing texture. You get all these wonderful organic shapes with all of these strands. The pirates are nice and um, uniform, but very organic with the, with the uh, Amazonite, very organic with the Keshi pearls. And Keshi pearls give you that organic flow. So they're gonna be wonderful if you're going to put them in your tiaras and fascinators. Use the tiara technique, give them a twist, put them in earrings, let them cascade. A lovely pair of shoulder dusters. I love this in a bracelet. I love this around the neckline with a maxi dress. I think this is the perfect summer trio. If you are doing summer fairs and you do want to make something, I actually think this is quite sort of summer bally. I think it's quite, if you ever, if you ever do anything like go and watch the polo, you'd want to wear a nice maxi dress. It's in the daytime, the sun's out. If you're going to a garden party or a posh picnic, this is perfect. Posh got my, look at the code. OMG C70, these are gorgeous. Christine has bought three. Christine, make me something Grecian. Aren't they lovely? Oh, that is caviar on toast, isn't it? Absolutely luxurious. You might choose those little mini toasty things rather than actual toast. What are they called? What are they called? Bruschettas. Mmm. Very high end. Absolutely beautiful. I've got so many of you enjoying this. Barbara, you've got yours. Ingrid, Andrea, Samantha, Pauline, Anonymous in the Outer Hebrides, Christine, of course, Queen of Multi Buying with three in her basket. Ruth and Elrit. I've got a jewelry maker in Middlesex, a jewelry maker in East Sussex, jewelry maker in Greater Manchester, Celia in Glamorgan, Elizabeth in South Yorkshire. You're all enjoying these, and I just don't blame you. Grecian goddess. I'm, I'm getting rid of the name Coastal Glow. They're absolutely all about the Grecian goddess. They're just 11 95 You've got genuine cashy pearls. These are genuine pearls. You can see they are. Oh, you can see the organic nature of these. Oh my gosh, if you're making prom style jewellery, for the, you haven't got long to make it. You've got the end of July, haven't you? For any proms that are going on. Can you believe those kids are doing their GCSEs already? Look, you've got the Amazonites in there as well. Just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Stella, you've got yours. Nancy, you've got yours. Uh, make, really taking advantage of that one PMP. Do you remember when you finished your GCSEs? You went up the hill and got drunk up the Mulvins, did you? Shame on you. I don't, I can't remember when I finished. Oh no, I can remember when I got my results. Being absolutely shocked and delighted. I never went to school in that last year. So how I got, how I got those results, I don't know. 11.95, OMG, C70. Coastal Glow, Pamela, you've got yours. Linda, you've got yours. Gwendolyn, you've got yours. Sheila, uh, loads of you have got these. They are wonderful, they're beautiful, and I'm so proud of you for grabbing them. You've got a 30-day money-back guarantee on everything. Sue in London says, wow, they look edible, all twisted together, don't they? Don't they? They are gorgeous. I just want to buy a dress to accommodate that gorgeous jewellery that I'm picturing in my head right now. Do you ever do this? You know how you jewellery make perhaps for other people a lot of the time? This is one for you. Definitely feminine, absolutely. I don't want to ever miss the chaps out, but this is one for the girls. How gorgeous is that? You've got another gorgeous girl coming up after me. Her name's Hannah, be nice. Pam in Kent says, uh, Pam watching the show in the south of France. Oh, bonjour, ça va? Uh, on holiday on my iPad. We're in the south of France now. What you got to say? What you got to say, Cass? We're in the south of France now. <laughs> Wow, not bonjour, not anything like that. She just goes, wow, wow, that's all right, that's it. Whereabouts in, whereabouts in the, I'm doing Kaz's voice. Whereabouts in the south of France are you? I'm going to the south of France. We're going again uh, on holidays to the south of France this year, but I can never remember where we're going. I always forget the name of it. Let me know. Is it hot? Is it hot there? We're going in August. Will it be hot? Who knows? Uh, Pam in Ken says, no, that's the same one. Same one, Dion. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Uh, She's trying to change it. Wait there. Here we go. Tanya in Pembrokeshire. Hi, Jenny and Maggie. Can I have a shout out for my beautiful daughter, Sean, who has just produced a grandson for me? <laughs> Yay! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Woo! Hang on, his name is, how do I pronounce that? Val and John. Oh, gorgeous. Is that a Welsh name? Welsh, yeah. Is it? Because you're a little bit Welsh, aren't you? Well, you're completely <laughs> Welsh, but with a Birmingham accent. <laughs> With a Birmingham action, a bit Brummy Welsh is Hannah. She's coming up next. You've got a grandson. Oh, 
I bet you're so proud. How lovely. I'm not there yet. I'm not there. Another 20 years and I can have grandchildren. Uh, Sissy says, I trusted my hubby and got a one carat Marquis solitaire for my engagement ring. Woo! -hoo! Wonderful. Marquis. Beautiful. Whoa. Do you unbelievably hard to cut? Really, mm. because there's a lot of waste in that, they're really expensive. Sissy is a princess. Princess Sissy of Oklahoma, everybody. We're all jealous of you, Sissy. I'm coming to live with you. Now, goodness gracious me. I don't know. I don't know. Now, we were asked earlier for some different types of cord. I've got some suede for you now. Suede in sparkly. Do you ever, do you ever see the um, sort of gladiator sandals oh, that yeah. are in at the mm -hmm. moment? I think this would be a great addition. You could actually make some lovely straps with these. I also think they're going to be great as those banded up bracelets. Mm -hmm. Really nice. A lot of links of London, in particular Pandora, doing those right now. You might be shopping at uh, Thomas Sabo, uh, but in particular Pandora. Then I'm going to give you the silver. I think these are lovely and they're going to be wonderful for macrame. They're going to be wonderful for plaiting. They're going to be great for putting with feathers if you bought the feathery findings and some boho earrings. Uh, there's a lot of use for cord. A lot of use for cord. They're also great for belts. Tassels. For belts. tassels. I think they're fabulous to make tassels with. Oh, yeah. Put a jump, you know, thread them through a jump ring and they make really nice little tassels. Yeah, they do. Uh, but also charm bracelets, wonderful for that. Oh, and, yeah. and the ones that we yeah. wrap, wrap, wrap around. Mm. My daughters are obsessed with the ones that you wrap around at the moment. And those little elasticy bandy ones. I'm looking at, I think we should get those little elasticy bandy things. This is the Mardi Gras suede cord pack in all these gorgeous colours. Do you love a bit of cord jewellery makers? Absolutely. It's a good medium to work with, isn't it, cord? It's friendly, it's not fiddly, you can tie it in knots easily. You've just started jewellery making, this is a really great one, a really great one to start with. It's great to start macrame with this, because it's bigger and thicker, it's easier, it's less fiddly. I would always start with macrame with this. Can I kumahimo with this? Pardon? Can I kumahimo with this cord? I don't know, I've not tried kumahimo. I've tried macrame with it and I've just knotted it, just knot after knot. Yeah, you can do an overhead Japanese style knotted necklace. Yeah, you can do all sorts of things mm. with it. Yeah, it's great. Uh, and I've used the silver a lot and I've used the gold. I haven't used the red as much, but of course, as Kaz said, Christmas crafting. Listen, do you know what? <laughs> Hannah, or, Hannah, the buzzword in the craft world at the moment is Christmas. Perfect Christmas red. Big buzzword, because you're creating Christmas pieces ready for your October fairs right now. I nearly said October pears. I don't know what that is. I made Spider. up a thing again. Fee, you've got yours. Marilyn, you've got yours. In fact, Marilyn's got two. Carol, you've got yours. Gorgeous Gwendolyn. Uh, Josie, Eleanor in L'Exemple. We are very, we are very global today. Uh, and Stella in Berkshire, you've got yours. 5.95. I love a green gauge. I didn't just randomly say that. Tom went, Do you know what I'm excited for this summer? Green gauges. Oh, Tom, I've got a whole array of plums in my garden. And I've also, my gooseberries are out. My gooseberries are out. Green gauges are most the sweetest plum. They're little green and they're mm, so sweet. Oh, I love them. I'm, yeah, I'm obsessed with green gauge myself. I also have a walnut tree, but the squirrels had 100% of my walnuts. Does anyone know, apart from shooting squirrels, what I can do to get rid of them? Because apparently shooting them is illegal. Is it? Plus it's, I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to shoot anything. Could you get one of those electronic things that buzzes at them? Yeah, but I've got a hamster in the oh, house. Oh, the hamster went right. So that's not going to work, because the hamster would be constantly like in pain. Yeah. So what do I do about these pesky squirrels? What do you think? Maybe I could just put super glue on the tree. Oh no, I couldn't do that. That was just a joke, of course. Five ninety-five. I do. Jewelry maker does not condone super glowing squirrels to anything. Five pounds and ninety-five pence. <laughs> duh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> they. Do you know in Hertfordshire the squirrels are black? Yes, I've they heard are. Of those. I only ever saw grey or ginger squirrels before. Where I live in Letchworth Garden City, I've only seen black squirrels. They're amazing. They're beautiful. Also hard to spot at night time. Five <laughs> ninety-five. RWP 050. We've got bats. Bats everywhere near me. <laughs> we had one in the house last year, do you remember? I wanted to keep it, but I wasn't allowed. <laughs> no. Number ten, you say? Boulder Opal. Ooh, this is nice, Dion. This is a bit moonstony. Ooh! 
Oh, yeah. Marquise, like Sis's engagement ring. Marquise. Diamond, one carat. Ooh. I wonder if Sissy is a princess. Have a look. I wonder if she's Sissy Trump, Donald Trump's wife. Have a look. Hundred and twenty-five carats of boulder opal. Eleven. Oh, sorry, thirteen by six to twelve. Twenty-one by eight, or a seventeen centimeter strand. I'm getting tips on squirrels. What was that one? Rake up squirrel food. What squirrel food? What do you mean? The nuts. But they've already eaten them. No. Rake, they only get the shells. They literally eat them when they're in the tree and chuck the shells down. Yeah. I don't get, we didn't get one, one walnut. And I must have had about 5,000 on my tree. No wonder those squirrels are like, they look like bodybuilders. Now, you've got beautiful marquees. These are going to be stunning in flowers. These are going to be stunning in earrings. They're fabulous when you twist them all together. And what a colour. I love opals. They say, don't they, that opals are lucky if you wear them. October's birth gemstone. Mavis and Maria and a jewellery maker in Bedfordshire. You've all got yours. Maggie, what would you do with yours? As a necklace, I think I'd maybe put a little bit of wire wrapping around the top of them. Mm. Maybe some gizmod coils in between them. Again, that's similar to what, the, what there is there. Uh, and add some, some wires just around the top. Yeah. Or you, so you could have them as droppers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think if you interlaced it, I think there's a technique. Is it herringbone weave? Herringbone weave. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that you can weave it in and Whoa. out. I think that would look yep, really, yep. really nice. And I'd put it with this rose gold or the copper type of colour. Can you do that even though they're top drilled? I'm not sure because I'm not. You I need to find them. out that mm. one. So they're all top drilled. They're absolutely beautiful. They're going to cascade wonderfully. These are genuine opal, and we're going under twenty pounds. The colour is phenomenal. Ingrid, you've got yours. Seventeen centimetre strand of distinction. Eleven pounds and ninety-five pence. I adore these dove greys and these sky blues. I think they're stunning. They're just stunning. I would put a little bit of yellow in there. Absolutely. Under £12, phenomenal price. Thank you. We've got a 30 day money back guarantee on everything that you buy from us here at Jewelry Maker. Uh, great to see Susan in on this one. Anonymous from Outer Hebrides in on this one as well. IKR U09. Loads and loads of you there. Now, one more before we go to our challenge. Do, 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 do. Morganite. Oh my gosh, we never have morganite. Unless it's in, within a strand of multi-barrel. Of course, morganite's from the same family as Heliodor, Goshenite, and Aquamarine. Oh wow, morganite. Beautiful, beautiful morganite. Gemstone that was discovered by JP Morgan, who was a financier of uh, Tiffany & Co, launched by Tiffany & Co. This is one of the softest pinks your money can buy. It's absolutely pretty as a picture. I think this is a pink champagne pink. Do you love a bit of pink champagne? Because if you do, I think this is the pink champagne of gemstones. That's my favourite, Laurent Perrier. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that colour. <gasps> of course it's going to go with aquamarine. Absolutely it will. It's going to look very pretty with the opal that you just had. Now I've not seen this for a long time. So I'm thinking it's gonna be quite expensive. Oh, I would definitely mix it with the yellow sapphires. <gasps> mm. Droplets. With the spinel chain you had earlier. Gorgeous. Is it only 27, I, I thought we were gonna go 39.95. You're going, what, what? It's Morganite. 
Dastardly Dion strikes again. Oh my gosh, 17. It's Morganite. You've got it. You've got a 30 day money back guarantee. If you've never worked with this gemstone, now is the time. B A G K 35 is your item code. It's 17 pounds and 95 pence. You have got a phenomenal, phenomenal deal. 0800 644 Make sure you're checking out baskets. I'm going to catch up with Maggie in a couple of seconds. Uh, with a challenge, uh, you've got to be quick. 55 carats of Morganite. A gemstone you will see in so many of the very, very high-end jewellers. And at under £20, I think you're getting one of the best. I think this could be one of the best deals of the day. Put it with the peridot I gave you earlier. Look at that. Gorgeous. It's like apple blossom, isn't it? You've got to check out if you love this. Anonymous in Middlesex, you have got yours. Put it with the peridot. I would get this gemstone valued. Please don't forget to get your jewellery valued once you've created it. I would only use real silver or gold with mine. Absolutely. Of course. Real silver or gold. 17.95. Don't forget, we haven't, when are we getting those real gold findings in? Solid gold. Do we know? No, that's a thing. It's a thing. We're getting solid gold findings in. I want to see that. I want to have that show. Let's go over. Let's go over to Maggie and see what she's been creating with a challenge today. Oh, Maggie, I love this. You were right. The orange did go with the pink. I think it works really quite works. nicely. Oh, I love these earrings. Look at the earrings. This, you know, we're talking about bubble bracelets. These are like bubble earrings, aren't they? We mean lots of movement. Love. I love the bubbles. These look like they've come from a really expensive charm shop. I've been wanting to try them for a while and I've, not had, and I've not had the right type of beads so I'm really chuffed that I get a chance of working those CD beads to try that. <gasps> Maggie, I'm so glad that this is the first time you've used CD beads and you like them because I love CD beads. They're one of my favourites. You've made a ladder weave necklace. That's a yeah. very pretty. I really like what you've done with your challenge, Maggie. It's gorgeous. I've enjoyed really, really working pretty. with it. It's a really nice kit to work with. Yeah, it's been good. Maggie's kit went all the way down to 14.95 with 115 findings three strands was it three or four strands three strands, three strands two strands of cd of beads and then you got the ladder weave in was it two strands two strands of seed and one and one of the one quartz, of quartz. One so you got quartz, yeah. phenomenal value for money there lots of scope for your designs you can see how we are working with the bubble designs with the cd beads and they work so well in that way i love that you've got the chain there too absolutely gorgeous when are you back with us max next week next week which day Tuesday again. Next Tuesday, <laughs> Maggie is with you and Becky. We've got Hannah coming up for you next. She's a crazy lady. Um, so in for Ali tonight. You've got loads of treats. I can see a lot of nuggets. I can see a lot of chips. Is that is that peridot on your desk as well? Green amethyst. Gorgeous green amethyst. Mm. We've got so much coming up for you. Aragonite I can see as well. Loads coming up. We haven't had that in stock for ages. I'll see you later. Don't go anywhere because Hannah's up after this. We all know having the right tools for the job